Hello everyone and welcome to the Unfiltered Gamer live stream playthrough. I'm Callie here tonight with my friends Alicia, Caleb, and Max and Michael. Yo! How's it going and everybody? We will be playing the Stifling Dark and doing a full playthrough of the game. It is a game for three to five players ages 14 and up and takes about 90 minutes to play. We'll be explaining what you get, the rules, uh, and how to play as we play through a full version of the game. It is a one versus many hidden movement game in which one of our players, Michael, will play as the butcher, an adversary character who is trying to attempt to hide and conceal evidence and stalk and hopefully eliminate we're on his side, hopefully eliminate one of the players. And the rest of the players will be playing as investigators, trying to uncover the evidence throughout the map, and then complete one of the end objectives in order to escape and win. And that is the Stifling Dark. All right, here is the top-down view for tonight. You can see the board is pretty large. So this is our map of the world. You can see with the gray outline, we've got five major buildings here uh each building is going to hold hidden we can't we don't we can't see where it is one piece of evidence as well as possible items uh they each have a computer console as well and uh places where the the killer could have started as well and see at the bottom there there's our investigator tokens and standees we're starting over there and each map has a Space, which is a circle and lines connecting those spaces so we can move across the lines to the different spaces if it is a uh, regular circle that means it is a dim spot and then if it is uh, outlined if the circle is outlined it is pitch black and it'll cost us two movement to move into that and through that space However, we have certain things that we'll be able to use to light up the space, including our handy dandy flashlights and the computer consoles in each of those rooms. Our flashlights and computer consoles can also help us reveal uh, items, evidence, as well as the location of the adversary, the butcher that Michael is playing. So he has his own separate board hidden behind here and off camera. Uh, it's also hidden by a screen, so we can't see where he has placed the different evidence pieces, the items, and his own character standee. On the map in addition, you'll notice a lot of items have a outline here. That means that they are obstacles, so we can't move through them. And also our flashlights will not be able to see th the spaces behind them. So very important. And that, so that affects the line of sight in this game. Uh, what else we got some item cards over there we got some cards that kind of explain some of our turn order and actions that we can do we each have a player board as well so on our player boards we have speed yeah. on the right here which is how fast how many movement uh spaces we can move stamina right up here uh then our flashlight has a certain number of charges and we have space for wound tokens we each also uh, have special abilities. So each of the investigators has have two special abilities and Michael as the adversary also has two abilities plus a uh, attack which is special as well. Do you want to explain a little bit of what your character does like how it functions? So this is one of the characters that will be available. So yeah my character the butcher his objective is he'll start within four spaces of any adversary space which are these red circles here and he's going to try and go around the board and I'm going to try and eviscerate my opponents here. I have a disturbing presence and a sinister gaze which are basically going to be able to give me conditions um, to distribute out to our willing guests here. Uh, in addition to I'm making them lose stamina and I will be gaining stocks. Stocks is my currency. I will be spending them in order to eviscerate as well as to use my sinister gaze. And all the while, I will be attempting to stop them from getting all the evidence they need to escape um, by defeating one of them. Uh, right. If I can do so, I win the game. All right, then we'll talk about each of our abilities. Um, Alicia, what's your ability? I can sweep when I use the flashlight. So I can put the flashlight and check whether the adversary is there. Then I can move it to a new position. It will stay in the second position until the end phase. 
Welcome. How you doing, All boy? Right. So that's a little bit of how the flashlight functions there. And then? And then I have a major ability. I can choose an investigator, including myself. If the adversary is within two spaces, the adversary must reveal themselves. All right. A way to kind of a shot in the dark if you think the adversary is, is uh, hanging out around us. All right. For me, I start with six little can tokens and I, I can place a token within three spaces. And then if the adversary moves onto that space, it'll be flipped to reveal a little ear symbol, which means that the adversary is making noise. So we'll get some information using my token. So I have up to six of these. And then my main ability, I can flip uh, up to a total of two face up wounds on myself or an adjacent investigator. So either one between us or two on one. So throughout the game, we'll be getting wounds, which will uh, be added to our track here. If we get the fourth wound, then our character is eliminated and Michael the Butcher will win. Can you heal wounds? So I don't see any way as of yet to fully heal wounds, but when you get wounds that are face up, they'll give, have negative effects on them and in addition to the wound. And my ability allows us to flip those face down to get rid of the also, negative. There are probably also item cards that will you know, get rid of wounds. Possibly. There could be beneficial items that will help us get rid of wounds. All right, go ahead, Caleb. What's your ability? My minor ability, uh, I may treat up to three pitch black spaces as dim when I move or sprint onto them. Okay. For my major ability, I can place this token on an adjacent space and I may teleport from any space back to this token. Okay, your character is all about movement. So you're not gonna cost extra movement to move through the pitch black spaces. You got like night vision and you can teleport. Night. <laughs> all right, my, ma my minor ability, I start the game with these two little tokens. They look like duct tape. So the next time I would sprint and I would take a wound, I discard one of those tokens instead of taking the wound. And and I still must decrease my stamina. My major ability, which is nice, which is all investigators within three spaces of myself, including myself, gain two endurance and one flashlight. Nice, one flashlight charge, right, great. So I can definitely support everybody around me to keep mm -hmm. us running and, and shining And it's lights. stamina, right? Yep. yep. Yeah, okay. Those are probably gauze or medical tape, but probably not duct tape. Wow. Well, yeah. <laughs> duct tape makes duct tape is great. <laughs> yeah, good in survival situations like oh, this, it's right? Sometimes <laughs> I All fix right. wounds with duct tape. So uh, how you see, there's also there's a round tracker here, which will also have uh, different event cards. So we also have a timer with the round tracker. Uh, there's a few different dice. So there's one dice we'll be using to sprint and do extra movement if we want to consume our stamina with that. These are the wound cards, the mitigation cards we may get, a bunch of tokens that will help to use to see, okay, is this room, you know, uh, bright? We'll put that in here, that sort of thing. Uh, there's doors and windows that we'll be utilizing as well. We can close doors and Michael can break through doors and all kinds of stuff. Uh, so the way the turns work is on our turn, we'll be able to move up to our speed and then in between that we can interact with different things so picking up items taking items um, using our items or evidence cards so on and so forth if we're out of movement and we still want to move we can utilize the speed the sprint dice by losing a stamina rolling that and getting that extra movement based on the number of feet uh, and then at the end of our turn if we'd like we can utilize our flashlight and illuminate uh, the spaces around us and that will stay in place until the end of the round which is nice uh, so we can help each other utilizing the flashlight even though the flashlight ends our turn at the end we'll we'll do some um, regaining of stuff we didn't use and on to the next investigator's turn uh, any order that we'd like and then Michael will take his turn as the adversary most of his stuff will be hidden uh, but he will also be like placing tokens on the board as they get revealed, that sort of thing, or as he makes noise, perhaps. So lots uh, of information for us, I hope, <laughs> there. <laughs> <laughs> so the on the round order, we're going to check for card effects. 
we're going to draw a storm card and determine player order. So where are the storm cards, Michael? Right over there, to your left. It's the deck with storms on it. Oh, okay, I can't see it. Okay. So, draw Caleb, one. you're going to be in charge of that. Yeah, draw it. Pick a card. Yeah. Yeah, read. read it out loud for everyone. Gain a blood down when your stamina reaches two instead of one. So that's going to be a wound, a face down wound card. When your when our stamina here tracker reaches two instead of one. So this is basically it's not good for us to go really low stamina right now. <laughs> so I think that that's is that fine. Just for it's this a great round. One yep, it's just this round because yeah. yeah. this would be bad later when yeah. we actually had mm-hmm. less stamina to yeah. start with. All right, put it right here next to there, and that is an effect for this round. Then we have to deter- decide our player order. Who's going first? Give me the token. I'll go first. All right. <clears throat> and then, do you want to go? Should we go in this order, Ben? Yeah. Okay. We'll just just for the, the first standard. turn, we'll see yeah. what happens. Mm-hmm. All right. To start it off, I'm gonna move my guy up to four, and I will just. Place out my flashlight. You don't. You don't have to if you don't want to. Don't have to. No. <laughs> but being able it is going to gonna reveal... use it. So if you're using your flashlight, you got to move down a charge on yes. your flashlight. Yeah. That's why I'm saying it's an option. Yeah. Because it's the beginning of the game. You might not want to. Okay. Being able to reveal the flashlight might help us in the long run. So. So you have to put it at the base of your character. There you go. Uh, and the obstacle is going to block some of your flashlight beams here. So we're yep. going to check the lines there on your so flashlight. So you'll be getting this one, I believe. It's no, it has to be fully covered. So um, I'm going to be getting 223, so S42. No, no. Uh, this is not fully covered by the, the beam. Oh. If you want. It has to be fully covered. Fully and... covered and in one of the lines. Oh. Yes. And not blocked by any line of sight obstacle. Like you might even want to move it a little bit more. Because you can't you get, get that. Yeah, that way you can get the yeah. mm-hmm. So that way it'll guarantee you all of these ones. Uh-huh. It's also true. Okay. I'm helping. Yeah. Or am I? <laughs> Maybe I'm one to the left. Uh, okay, great. We wouldn't know either. Anyway. <laughs> um, I have to tell you if there's something that you are... Revealing in that area. So that is bright light now. Yep, nothing. Nothing. Okay. All right. But your flashlight can stay in that position. So... Okay. Um, so mine is a flashlight ability, so I will be able to reveal two areas. So I will go... Two areas. Yeah. So she gets to sweep with her flashlight, kind of, like, do a sweepy motion. I'll go this way. One, two, three, four. And then you can also sprint. Yeah. So you're going to lose one stamina. And roll the sprint die, and three. you got three extra nice. movement you can okay, use. Okay, so now. if I go on that, so but, that just indicates that there, there could be I could an have item around within, there. Yeah, I could have spawned within four yeah. spaces of there. There is an item that is within two spaces of that. Um, that's three, all they're guaranteed. Three spaces for the spawn. Okay, uh, three. so if I go, can I go one, two, three, or because yeah. this is. You can go, go on ahead. that space. On that's it. fine. Yeah. Oh, it's a it's a dark space. Yeah. So does that mean I? S- it costs two to go on dark space. Costs two to move. It's pitch black there. So yeah. do I stay here? Yep. Okay. And now I can use my flashlight to sweep. Okay. So you're gonna do reveal one direction first. Oh. I, I can only be within four spaces of that red th- I red know, thing. which is why I want to You want to look like inside the room most this likely. This way and that way, probably. Yep, and the second one is where you'll leave yours. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to so, look around that obstacle. Uh. <laughs> Maybe Max can help out and make sure yours doesn't. Okay. Just trying to reveal those four spaces. Yep. It's three um, only. Uh, did you get this one? Yeah, it's fully there. All right, there's an item there. An item. Okay, so then I move it to the second position. Okay, so I want it to face this way. Is that me? So the item is gonna go away. I have to remember where it is. Now, if no. it goes away, can you still pick it up even though it's not? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you I can. We can. Can we not? I don't know. 
I admit, I didn't know you could do that. It doesn't stay. If it doesn't stay lit, how do you find it? Well, she revealed it, so we know it's there. Hmm. Maybe you don't want to move that thing. So somebody has to land on that space to pick up the item then? Yes. You have to land there and then use an interact. But wouldn't it, it reveal if When you it's land? made bright, the adversary moves it onto a main board. When you pick up an item... Okay, so it is, it's, it's moved on there so you can pick it up. Then. Okay. Okay. Uh, Could be a cursed item, though. All of the curses. Okay, and then you don't regain anything because you use both your stamina and your flashlight. Alright, I guess. Do I reveal anything else? No. I'm going to try to move over there, I guess. Get the tasty item. Can you, um... Move through other players? I'm not sure. Move through them? Yeah. Uh, I don't see why not. You can't be on the same space as another player, as far as I know. Can you be on the same space as the bad guy? Um. I don't remember what they said. <laughs> I know you can move through players, though. Yeah, okay. You're not going to have to worry about being next to me. Uh, on the, okay, uh, so I'll move my four. That's faster than going around the car the other way. Mm-hmm. And then I guess I will sprint. To get the item. Yeah. Yeah, you can move freely through me or investigators. But you can't Three. end their activation in the same space as another acti- investigator. Okay. Oh, I just... One, two, nope. three. Nope, this will end up being a darkness... Oh, oh yeah, nice. okay. Because oh. the illumination is forward, I don't believe it counts. The yeah, and I can't so land on all these. You can space. also land exactly on me, mm-hmm. and that's fine. Okay. It won't help you at all because you can't reveal me, so you probably don't want to do that. But you can be on me. Mm-hmm. You just can't be on them. But remember, these spaces Maybe are lit. The around. spaces that she's showed that she's popped up are now lit up, so they only cost you one to move on to them. Does oh, that also but count her space? No, it doesn't count her space, though. Her space is two. Yeah, because um, three would be one, two, three. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So she can't move through me. I could move around the outside Howdy, of the Jason. Building. Welcome. If someone else wants to pick up the item then, so I could go two. You need to move one more. No, that's it. Yeah, you should move one before. Mm-hmm. Okay, do that then. Yeah. Drop it and drop a flashlight out. Um, I don't want to use my flashlight yet. Oh, you're going to miss out on a really good item. <laughs> no, there's, not, there's nothing here. There there's could a be. Guy there. Oh, there is a guy. Mm-hmm. I'm can. sure he put the item in here, though. <laughs> Within three spaces. Could okay. be one, two, three. Could be one, two, can, three. Can the flashlight go through the window? Uh, or the door? As long as you doors, have a line of sight. Doors block line of sight. If they are closed. All the doors right now are open and available, though. Okay. When a door is broken, it's gone. You can shine it that way. Mm, it's not going to reveal anything You don't have to. You can save it if you want. I'm going to save it. Okay. Go ahead, kid. Oh, I yeah. should miss that on an item. <laughs> right. <laughs> Knowing Mike, he's going to say that we got to stagger everywhere. our flashlight uses. That's very important. Well, yeah. I'll show you. I've got it. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah, but I feel like it's best to, like... You use the flashlight every other turn so you yeah. can re- use it and then recharge it. Okay. Yeah, but if all of us use it this turn and none of us use it next turn, that's not good. Yeah, that's I true. mean, some of us stagger is not a bad idea. Michael's going to be trying to get behind us and stalk us and stuff, mm-hmm. too. <laughs> can you move me to space to, let's see, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 274. 274. Okay. And then... So we don't want to get to... Wait, your stamina? Yeah. Oh. Wait, what do you... You start at 5. Oh, it was on 4. I don't know. No, okay. You start at 5. And if you want to use it to sprint, you'll move it down 1. Okay, I'll sprint. Okay, here you go. 
Gonna move down stamina one and get two extra movement. Wait, where did you come from? You came from my ears, so one, two, three, four. One, two, let's see. All right, keep going. Okay, um, can you please move me to 289? 289. Where are you going? <laughs> well, I'll have to look for an the, item over there. <laughs> yeah, I'll the use the or... flashlight. <laughs> okay. Use your flashlight. flashlight. I was too kind. <laughs> All right, where do you want to, you want to go? This way or this way? That way. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. So I have to go right up to the base of the character. <sighs> and then... <laughs> Michael's going to place down his item token that he left for us over there. Nice. Mm, mm. Tasty. It no. is tasty. <laughs> I was like, I could have put that all the way in the corner, too. I knew it. <laughs> too nice. All right. Trying and then, to be all sneaky. Yep. Thinking so I was going to go over You're there. not using any of your abilities, right? Okay. No, that's it. He flashed yeah. okay. That's it. Yeah, he flashed Maybe light. it's a bad item. <laughs> there is a cursed item somewhere. Guess we'll Which, just have to no. find out. <laughs> That's why I put it close. <laughs> All right, so this is. Well, it's, it's also out of our way, your way too. I didn't actually yeah. expect anybody to yeah. go over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or did uh, you? I didn't. Well, everybody's too close to each other. Investigator end phase. So we're gonna remove any sound token, any other um, ad adversary token, and th there's nothing out. So now it's Michael's turn, the adversary activation. So we'll see. Okay. He wants to say it all. So like, the butcher is doing. ready to do his thing. And the butcher, I have to see where I am. <laughs> Look at the board, see where we now, are. Now, how does line of sight work exactly? So line of sight, it's uh, blocked by the objects that are outlined in white, as well as the walls. And I can use any portion of a circle if I wanted to. For instance, if I, if I was here, right, I could use this side of the circle, the right-hand side, to try and make line of sight, as long as there's nothing blocking me. If, if I'm right here and I want to see here, I could do that then, right? Um, I, get, I don't remember reading that, but if that's it, in the rule As far as I'm aware, yes. Okay. As long as it doesn't block line of sight with these walls here, I can do so. You have line of sight to a space if, oh, one, it is fully covered by a flashlight template, or two, at least one line that's can be traced. That's for the investigators. That's for the investigators, yeah. For me, though, it's just I have to connect my, my lines. So, let me see what I want to do here. Dun, dun, dun. If I end my activation... What does my activation mean? So your activation is your turn. Well, I don't have any stock, so I can't actually do my, my special ability there. So I'm, I'm not going to move or break a door or disappear, but I am going to stock. I'm unrevealed, and I am within eight spaces, and I have line of sight of somebody. Okay. Um, one or more. I can give these investigators the spine chill condition. And I am within eight spaces of you. Oh, Max. And you. I knew it. And you. And me. <laughs> wow. He's okay. Hmm. Okay, so he's not around this one. Because that would just be me, maybe Alicia. Um, but actually, no, he, he, he's got to be. And in with you. it. Oh, it's got to be right on Alicia. Me too. You as well. Okay, we're yeah. Somewhere around there. So you all have oh. spine chill. And what does really? spine chill say, Callie? Spine chill says, you are in the butcher's gaze. If he regains line of sight on his neck activation, he will gain a stock. So his stock points will go up. So I have Flip to this see, card I have face to find down at the end of the next round. Yep. Twice in a row. Yep. Now, he's got to be almost right on wow. you, Callie. Now, when I do no, the stock, though... No, then Matt, Caleb wouldn't be in line of sight. Um, I'm going to take this. And I can be within three spaces. You have to make noise. <clears throat> okay. 
Remember, I have it's eight spaces, by the way. Yeah, for for spine chill. Right. But that token, it says you were three spaces from that one. I could be there could or be three a, spaces away. Yeah. Three well, spaces in proximity. In that area. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, I'm going to be done. I am not going to do anything else. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, enact my disturbing presence. It's for zero, so mm-hmm. no stock required. If I end my activation within four spaces of one or more investigators, I may reduce their stamina by one. And losing stamina doesn't cause you to take damage. If I remove two or more stamina, uh, I'm going to gain a stock. And I'm going to make everyone lose a stamina except for Caleb. And because I made three of you, Alicia, Callie, and Max, I will go ahead and gain one stock. And my turn is over. So he's closer to us than Caleb. (laughs) He didn't move. Oh. Okay, so now the next round. Okay, so wait, end phase first. Follow adversary cleanup. I don't know if he had to do anything. Remove flashlights from board. So everyone remove their flashlight. Check for card effects and advance the round tracker. And at the start phase, we're going to check for card effects, draw a storm card, and then d- determine player order. All right, Caleb, you're up. Okay. Give us a card there. Using a flashlight costs one extra. Charge. <laughs> oh, that's brutal. It's foggy out tonight. <laughs> oh. See, now for the people who are recharging their flashlights, this is good, but... I still want to use it. Remember, you want... <laughs> we want to work together. If I stalk you again this next turn, I'm yeah. going to gain a lot. Oh, you want to find me. Yeah, exactly, which is why I should go find you and then and reveal him. You could... I have full flashlight though, and I'm in a. I feel like I'm in a pretty good. He's got to be four from me and Max, so he's got to be kind of in between us somewhere. I'm more wondering where he can be that he has line of sight on. Sure, go ahead. All of us. All of us and Caleb too. That's so he must be back here. Yeah. Well, he technically would have no, to be. No, no, right. he has to be around you though. Four. Yeah, he's yeah. right around me. But he also has line of sight on me, so we can't be like here. Cause this block I'm sure it's like in here <laughs> maybe but then just how go, can he see caleb don't waste too much yeah, time just no, do your yeah. objectives <laughs> just do your objectives guys <laughs> do you want to reveal uh, him before we see start caleb from 202 he could see everyone from that space from my space oh from right behind you yeah um, i could be on your space he can't see Caleb there, though. Yes, he can. There's a truck right here. No, if you angle it that way, you can uh, see Caleb. As okay. long as the line is from one point of the circle to any point in the circle and doesn't touch a line, I have line of sight. Okay. You can take That's this a lot of line of sight. <laughs> That's a very generous line of sight. <laughs> see? You can see Caleb. <laughs> Barely. Counts. All right. Okay, Alicia wants to go first, I guess. You and then can go first. No, you, um. Hmm. And then I can still use my flashlight after that if you don't get him. Yeah, I was thinking I could use mine if if you don't. Or otherwise, I'll use it over here to to try to get something. Mm, okay, well, should I get the item first and then shine it that way? Or? Yeah, because you could go pick up the item and then and then don't sh- move don't, where you just want. Just go get your stuff. Don't worry about me. <laughs> go uh-huh. get all the objectives so and you win. So that's four. <laughs> and I get the item, right? Yes. So what, uh, you gotta search the item deck for it. Yep. It's a can. With a... We just searched the... With right. a lightning yeah, on it. Take it. Yep. Take the whole deck. It's a can with... Here, show it. That's the icon. It'll be on the top right. So maybe look the other way. Yes, that's it. You got an energy drink. This activation, you may take the move action twice. Nice. So you can (laughs) use any item or evidence card during, during your turn, basically. Okay. In between movement, but before you flashlight. 
Alright, well, I'm not going to sprint, so I'm just going to use my flashlight. Um, should I... Where should I put it first? Well, we believe he he's behind us somewhere, so... If you want to reveal mm-hmm. where you thought he was, this is probably going to be the most advantageous, advantageous spot, because that hits almost mm-hmm. everything you can get. But I can get two views of the flashlight. The second one is where it stays. So yeah. where should I put it first? Well, we know nothing is that way for what we need, so this is almost... You can, no, there could be evidence. That was She just already item. did it that way last time. She's not even from much from more here, of it. yeah. You can go. No, honestly, where it's at now is kind of okay. The best spot. Satisfied? Alicia's got to say. Hey, so I, this. I feel like I want to sweep it though, because then you otherwise can sweep. Why not? Okay, then do it. So I should face it the other way just to see. Can you move it? Okay. That's going to be the best you're going to get. Yeah. Asking me? Yeah. No dice. Okay. Now move it the other way. Mm. Okay. It's revealing 202, 220, 219, 236, 235. Nope. 218. Not even close. Okay. Not even close. <laughs> Interesting. All right. Okay. And then I get a stamina. That's it. All right. Hmm. I feel like I should... Do you think then... Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Maybe This one's there. me. This one is you. He's got to be within four of you, Max, though, right? I mean, yeah. And me. So... Does he have, he doesn't have line, wait, does he? From here. Yeah, I guess he does. But okay. he wouldn't have, he wouldn't have had line of sight to me. Oh, yeah, that mm-hmm. doesn't make sense. Unless he's a few spaces ahead of you, Callie. Or he's right there. <laughs> or, honestly, <laughs> he's right where? He's right there. Where? Mm-hmm. No, don't no worry about it. he wouldn't have line of sight on you then. Oh, you also the wall. The side you guys on. are wasting time not going to get those objectives. Got to finish those generator um, <laughs> objectives, <laughs> missions. Uh, one eighty seven or two twenty one. Yeah, I feel like um, well, not one no, one eighty seven. He, he wouldn't yeah. have sight of me. So yeah. two twenty one probably. Okay, Welcome, so I Serge. feel like um, I can just go. I mean. You Over could, to like, the next space. Go here and then get like a good. Yeah, but what can we even do? All we could do is Did run you away pay from two him. Flashlight? Oh, you're at nothing, huh? Yeah, she's at nothing. That was expensive flashlight. Hmm. Um. Well, his token does say within three spaces of that, so. And he has to be four oh, or more geez. spaces away from me because I didn't get. He could be Wait, on you that didn't space. sprint, right? Yeah, nope. Oh, so you got you got your stamina back. Okay, good. Uh, okay, okay. Who's going next? I mean, I could go and just get the objective the over there. Yeah, the sure, item. Sure, go grab your item. Okay. I'm gonna move four. You got four. One, two, three, four. Pick up your item. Search for it. Surprise! Oh, no. <laughs> it's the cursed it was... item. It's the cursed item, Caleb. Okay, so you're going to search through the cursed item. What's it? What's it look the like? little chalice? Yeah. Oh, the blood chalice. Good choice. What does it do? <laughs> Gain a blood up to use... Face up wound. Any investigator's major ability without using a, a major ability token... If their ability uses special tokens, take those tokens even if they are on the board. You may choose investigators that are not in play. You may not trade or drop this item after using it. Okay, infinite uses. Okay. So, 
basically it allows you to do something but it has a high cost so you can pay basically a wound face up wound and be able to use other players abilities without yeah, having cursed, to have cursed items are not bad they're good yeah, but they have a cost yeah there's value i didn't know that okay would you like to sprint yes okay use the stamina after moving he can choose to sprint and that yes. lets him roll the die mm -hmm. okay so it's like a separate action two yes You can also walk in flashlights to reduce the cost of uh, two seventy eight, please. Mm -hmm. One two. Um, and then if I use my flashlight, it would go all the way to zero. Don't use it. There's nothing over there. <laughs> mm hmm. You kind of block by a lot of things too. There, I don't know. Don't worry. I'm not there over there. Be an item, but. Not really. You got the item in the corner there. I mean, that only gives you four spaces. All right. <sighs> <laughs> He's got 206, 206, 227, 243, and 261. Hmm. No, you're off. Okay. Oof. All um, right. Yeah, I think Max, you should go. No. Well, I'm the last one to go. No, I'm. I'm. I haven't gone yet. It's oh, not live. It'll be live next week. The campaign will be live next week. All right. We'll have a video in the next couple days, but we wanted to play it because it looked cool. Mm -hmm. So obviously, we know there's an item somewhere up here. <laughs> Now, or do we? <laughs> Caleb really wants the items. <laughs> now, moving in a flashlight zone gives us increased distance. So, so instead of this costing two, it only costs one. Okay. Right. So when it's the normal one, it'll be fine. I want to make it that way. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. And then I will sprint for... That, and I get to move an extra two. Four. Oh, yeah, four. four. Cool. One, two, three, four. Okay. Are you utilizing your Oh, flashlight? is the stream live? Nope, it's not live. <laughs> this is a recording. This is a recording. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, I'm going to use my flashlight. Cost two charges. It does cost two charges. Just tell me the numbers <clears throat> you're shining in. Yeah, that's better. All right, so I'm getting G17, G6, 15, G16, 13, 12, 10, 8, and 11. G15. Nice. Mm. Oh. Oh, feeling. that's uh, evidence. I was, I'm super generous with what I might yeah. choices here. I was like, <laughs> damn, I could have been so much meaner. I, I okay. had a feeling that that was going to be important right there. And you use both of your things, so you don't recover any. Are you using any ability? Oh no, your flashlight, you're done. Yep, okay. I'm done. I'm, hmm, I know Michael's around here, so. Yeah, waste your time. Don't go get objectives. <laughs> Max, no. don't, you're doing the wrong thing. You should have been hanging out with me, Callie and to getting me. I'm not getting you. I'm just going to leave a couple, I'm just going to leave one of these. <laughs> She's going to leave some booby traps. <laughs> yeah. She's going to act like data. It's the double triple bluff. Four. Mm-hmm. One, two, three, Three, and I'm going to use my minor ability to leave a can right here. Uh-huh. What's it do? So, uh, if you move on to a can space, you have to flip it to the noise side. So it shows that you are there. Oh, that's cool. So it's like, like, like a... It's like little... a string of cans. Like you're going across oh. the can. You're making noise. She gets to leave poopy traps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that was three movement. Um... But they only work once, huh? Mm-hmm. Can you flip them back over or no? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. Huh. That would be my suggestion. Make sure people can flip them back over. That would be cool. Yeah. yeah. All right, keep going. And it, I'm not sure if I can place more than one at a time. It feels like just one. Yeah, one's per activation. Yeah. It says A token. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, then I can't move on to this one. I can move here again. Okay. Uh, should I? I should not use my flashlight because there's not. 
enough. But we already revealed a lot of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I revealed a lot of this side yeah. here. Mm -hmm. So, so instead, I will recover a stamina, and that will be it. Can you guys give me some of those boxes? I'm going to use them to like place your guys on my map, so I don't have to like lean over. Yeah. And, like, okay. Keep staring. All right. So we have next to S39, S40, right? Yeah. And then we have right above that with S36? Yes. Okay. And then Caleb's over there. Where? Caleb is on Two... 278. Okay. And then Max? I am currently on 150. 150. All right. Thank you. Dun, dun, dun. So my turn now, right? It is mm -hmm. your turn. <sighs> Forgot to reduce my flash. All right, so my move is five plus this. It's five oh. plus four. That's nine spaces. <laughs> Damn. Oh my god. Now if I stalk, I can do that anytime I want. Ooh, but if I do. I'll have to reveal myself. Or I have to show you where I am. Mm -hmm. I'm now going to stock. I must be unrevealed within eight spaces. I don't have line of sight. One or more. Uh, I can give these investigators spine chill. Alicia and Callie. Mm -hmm. um, if you already have it, I'll increase by plus one for each investigator that has it. I'll remember with spine chill. If you are not seen this round, then you lose the spine chill. That makes sense? Yeah. Well, either way, we flip it face down. Uh, it just says... Yeah, oh, either way? Yeah, okay. end of next round. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and reveal myself. I have to. Once I... Oh, you went the other way around there. <laughs> oh... Once I uh, ha once I gain a to once I gain a any stock, I have to reveal myself. Yeah. And then I am going to eviscerate. It's just going to cost me one. No. Um, so when I'm adjacent to an investigator, I give them the bleeding condition. Here you go. Who me or Alicia? Uh, whoever's next Alicia. to you. Oh, it's you. Okay. Wait, this is where you were. Yeah, that's where I am now. He that's where you are now. So it doesn't go there. Okay. Condition. Which says, um, at the end of each of your activations, you get a uh, wound. And once you gain two from this card, you discard it. If you gain a second copy of this condition, you gain a wound instead. Um, now the question, I'm not sure. only rule I don't know is, can I eviscerate again and again and again on the same person? But I have no idea. I, I already revealed myself. Mm -hmm. I get to put one of these tokens on this card. Yeah. And it says all of these abilities up here you can only use once. Activate once. So I'm not sure if it includes that or not. Yeah, I imagine it would. I mean, I don't know. So if I, I could do that two more times if I wanted to. Put in a two out. I don't think I can do that. I'll give two investigators. So I'll actually reduce this just so I'm using my my information as much as I can. Uh, one of each of the following conditions. Choking, fear, and darkness. So I'm going to give you darkness. Wait, you don't even have to be line of sight for that one? Give any two investigators one of the following conditions. Uh. It's just, they're not as powerful yeah. as you might think. I can't use my flashlight anyway. You shouldn't have given this to me. Oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> okay. I haven't oh. used mine yet. <laughs> All right, and I can keep my mo keep going right for movement wise. Oh. Uh, yeah, I guess. I can perform actions while. Mhm. Mm you just can't. Um. Yeah, you can. You can do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's it. Oh, if I'm within four spaces of a survivor, um, if I'm with, if, if I'm in activation within four spaces of one or more investigators, I can reduce. So, Alicia, you're going to lose one stamina, and that's it. Okay. Um, wait, did you flip this? You did. You're doing this one. Uh, yes. But you did. You did this last turn, though, right? Uh, yeah. It's flipped over until the end of this turn. Oh, really? Yeah. 
so she doesn't lose the stamina. That's how those work. I see. Okay. So, so it's only once every other turn I can mm-hmm. use it. I see. So now you, so can, so now you flip one. that one, and you can use it your next turn. Okay. Yeah, that's more fair then. Yeah. All right. Okay, now, uh, end phase, adversary cleanup, remove black flags from the board, check for card effects, and advance the round tracker. And then since spine chill is not affecting me, I flip that over. Yep. We all Gary? we all flip it. How's it going, Gary? Hello, okay. hello, Gary. Um. Okay, new round. Storm card. We got the same card as the first time. Gain a blood down when your stamina reaches two instead of one. Okay, take a face down wound if we go to two stamina. Oof. We don't want to go Yikes. there. Yeah, round. I'm too close to do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, don't don't <laughs> sprint. <laughs> all right. I'm going to start this one off just because it will give you guys a little more time to think, and mine will be a quick turn. Since I'm going to be moving into darkness, I can only move two spaces. I'm going to go from G17 to G15 and pick up the clue. Okay. So who has the clue? Blue card. No, it doesn't work like that. No? Mm -hmm. Um, You're going to get... A random one. A random one, yeah. From there. The sawmill. Or that one. The big one there? I believe so, yeah. I'm looking for the... Callie, do you remember it? Yeah, you just get one of these. All right. That's what you said. I know. And then you also get to light something, too, right? Take a lit... That's only when we get all of them. Mm. We get to light one building. Okay, we'll read it out loud. All right, this says, Large item stash. Have the adversary place three random general item tokens adjacent to an adversary space within ten spaces of any investigator. And I reveal one uh, item card when drawn. Wait, wait, on that one. They read it to Yeah. Real one. This is gonna be the token, not the card. Ah. Um. Reveal one. No. Like on the board. Oh, maybe if we had one on the board, it would reveal. Oh. No, I mean like. It gets shown on the board. Oh, oh like maybe. he has to he has to reveal one item token. You discard the token and draw an evidence card. Additionally, the investigators may select an adversary space whose item is still on the mini map and have the adversary move that item from the mini map to the main board. If there are no items remaining on the adversary's mini map, skip this step. Oh, okay, we get to reveal an item. Yeah. Okay. Not not with the card with the, with picking up the evidence. Okay. okay. So you select an adversary space. Mac, do you want to do the one that you're close to? Uh, Maybe I'm gonna that do one? The one at 73, which is the one in front of me going towards Cali. Okay. 73? Correct. Okay, it's uh, bottom left. Here you go. Yeah. Well, I mean, obviously it's going to pop up. Bottom left, so G3? Yeah, G. No, bottom left is G2. Not your left. Mm. <laughs> Perfect. Well, you're, for you, it's not left or right. I, it's, I, I'm, I always look at the camera. <laughs> okay. Then, so the the evidence card, you don't have to use it right away because it doesn't say immediately. Investigators choose to use an evidence card any time on their activation by placing it face up next to the round tracker for everyone to see. The text of the card immediately comes into effect, and you can choose to never play an evidence card and thereby never affect it, uh, never apply its effects. Only one exception: if an evidence card instructs you to immediately do it, you have to. Mm-hmm. Thanks for joining us, Alex. Welcome, Alex. Hello. Playing the stifling dark. Playing five-player hidden movement game. Alright. Alright. And I'm going to do nothing else, so I will regain one stamina and one charge on my battery. Okay. I feel like we should get out of here, Alicia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> should we totally leave and go somewhere else, or try to get deeper into the room? That's the question. They're in danger. 
That will take forever. Well, one of us lights the way, the other person moves. Oh, I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah we should just get, get out, out of there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I don't want you to. Okay, before we leave, wait. So I'll go. I'll go first. I'm going to leave Ken over here on S42. So later when we're in here, we can have those blocked off. Um, and then I'll move four. Oh, it's dark. One, two, three, four. Um, I'm going to sprint. Two. <laughs> That's about as far as I can get. And, and I'm, I'm not, I can't use my flashlight, but I'll, and I sprinted, so I to stay there. Okay. Okay. I can only move two, and then I'll sprint. Three. I'll go to... Hmm. Uh, what happens when I go to S... Three, S thirty eight. So, so that since you you're not starting right next to the window, you would take a wound to go through there. There's a window. So if you start right next to the window and go through, um, you can go through. It's just that's pretty much all you can do for your movement. Okay. Or if you have other movement in addition to going through the window, you're gonna take a wound. I'll go to one seventy three. One seventy three. Mm-hmm. Uh. You can one, only, two, three, you're right? Three, so you can move oh, it to 189. 189. Okay, I'll go there. Yeah. So one, two, three. Okay. We'll be, I didn't see that wall. Alone <laughs> on this side of the board. <laughs> okay. I, I didn't get I know. there. <laughs> we're leaving Callie all alone. She's going to get attacked okay. by Michael. My turn. Okay, love you, turn. I would, okay. The only option was to stay in yeah. there or go left. 228, please. <laughs> 228? It's right here. One, two, three, four. Okay. And maybe... Oh, I'm not sprinting. Otherwise, yeah. I'll get a wound. Uh-huh, exactly. <laughs> so, in that case, are you ending your turn then? Yep. So, you'll get a stamina back and a flashlight charge back. Alright, end of the investigator end phase. We'll remove any sound tokens. Uh, oh, and these guys should be removed now. When did you place that can, the new one? Just done my turn. Okay. All right. And then um, adversary action. Activation. Your turn, Michael. <sighs> Why are you guys all spreading out? I don't appreciate this <laughs> at all. <laughs> See, we should have spread out, out further from the beginning. Three. Mm-hmm. It's going to give me a total of eight spaces. Dun, dun, dun. Where's the butcher going to move? We don't know. Ah, you will soon enough. <laughs> now, I, can I walk through a door location? It's not because oh, it's open right now. You didn't They're all open. It. So, you can go through the doors easily. Which the only door that he would have been able to make through right now is that one, yeah. (laughs) So either he's coming after me or he's trying to head off a... Alright. I'm going to stalk. Max, you're going to go ahead and get the condition of spine chill. And Callie. I knew well, that. Who's, who's Wait, that yeah. right there? Yeah. Alicia. Oh, Alicia. Right You're gonna... It doesn't hurt you or anything, I don't think. Uh, you, did you already have spine chip before? Yeah. Did you? No, no, no they were flipped face down. Oh. Uh, oh, they got flipped face yeah. down? Well, either way, it flips. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. 
Hmm. So kind of you have to stay. He has to stay on those two people. So we know. Not going to be stalking us. I will write <laughs> disturbing presence within four spaces of Max and Alicia. So you're both going to lose a stamina. And I'm going to gain a stock. So Alicia's okay. at two. Alicia is going to take a. Is it face down? Yep. Why would you take a wound? It says right here. Because of the round condition. Okay, because my card says losing stamina in this way does not incur a down. Wound. But oh, this. Okay. Oh, what's that card say? Gain a face down blood when your stamina reaches two instead of one. So normally you get it here when this moves here, but it's saying you get it when you move to this one. Uh, I can't incur damage from that ability. Okay. Oh, she's okay. safe. <laughs> Just have low stamina. <laughs> I am. I believe that's all I can do. Alright. Now you do your adversary cleanup, remove flashlights for the board, and advance the round tracker. Okay. Fourth round. I get my so new start sinister phase. gaze back for next uh -huh. round. Um, this... This darkness. Uh, yeah. Darkness yeah, coming back to me. This stinks. Investigators may not pick up item tokens. <gasps> No. <laughs> there's no items uh, on that one. Oh, there's, there's one. one. There's really far. It's too far. Yeah, he's <laughs> yeah. But he doesn't it, have a lot of stamina. It, I won't make it in time. Okay. I am definitely want to well, you're definitely check like out. Clear for the yeah, moment. yeah. So I need to check out this building over here. How, you gain one stamina back every turn? If you don't. Yeah, if you don't mm -hmm. sprint. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to definitely move and use my flashlight. Yeah. Oh, when I stopped you, I had to, because I gained, um... Oh, did you have to reveal? Oh, you no, no, I didn't, actually. I oh. had to give you one of these, though. Um, A three. 190. The, the three, yeah, 190. Right next to you. Mm. Right next to the region, right inside. Yeah. yeah, that's where I thought he was going to be. Well, well, that's oh, he's the around, there. around there. Yeah. Yeah, no, but right in that spot is where I think he is. Anyways. It could be. I could be double bluffing. Yeah, whenever I stalk... Remember, if, if I don't forget, if I ever stalk you and just give you the um, spine chill, mm -hmm. I have to do that. But if I ever get stalk from it, I reveal myself. My location, when I currently did that okay so um i'll go first i'm gonna go one two two i'm gonna place my can here but move on to it <laughs> and then i'm not gonna sprint I will use my flashlight. Uh, it's not going to give me everything, but wait. Oh, I can't even get all of that. Hmm. Yeah, honestly, for the, where you're at now, it's best to use it here. That way you go can... to the terminal? Yeah. But I can't get very far in there. I'm going to at least try to get these two here. Yeah, I think that's the best I could do. Oh, uh, you'll actually get more than that. Hmm? These are blocked by the corner. Yeah, what, no. Now, what numbers are you giving? It's okay, it's her turn. Let her, let her do what no, she's no. doing her turn. So I get 0807. 0807? Yeah. And 05. Well, it's that one blocked. It's good. It no, counts. No, okay. It counts because this line is connected and it's fully there. It's there. It okay. Um, nothing. Uh, yeah. Hmm. All right, and then I didn't use sprint, so we're gaining a stamina. Next person, Alicia. Okay, you I go? think I want to move. One forty-one, and then sweep. Oh, I had to take. Okay, so I definitely wanted to 
be facing down, but maybe I should shine it here first. It goes through the door, right? It'll go through the door. Just the, the door open door. Just the open door, though. It can be very limiting. Just that, not this one, Let too. me see. Let me see what you'll get. Uh, I think you get... You're only yeah. going to get two of them. You'll get... Um, S22 and S19. Yeah, that's all you get. Okay, then I'm just going to go this way, and then I'll go down. Okay, give me the numbers. Hold on, let me position it. Do I... Would I get these doors? And that? And not this one. Uh, yeah, she will. The, the, uh, the light has to fully engulf it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the line has to touch it. Yeah, so she'll... Okay. The line does touch it. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so she'll get 129, 120... 119, 110, 89, S13, and S16. She get S13? Wow. Yeah, yeah she, she can get S13. Uh, no, nothing. Nothing is out there. Okay. Can you place it down there? Now, do you want it straight down this way, or do you want to try to angle it this way? Um, uh, angle it. Yeah. <laughs> now I probably moved at that remember I can do all my actions and I can move mm -hmm. there's no limitation just like you guys yeah but we also didn't get the item over there which is somewhere over there too do you want it right there so you can try mm -hmm. to get just about everything in this direction or do you want to go the further this way mm. I think Caleb shined it over here before, right? And he missed, you missed Yeah, the we were missing over here. Like Nothing near there. 205 is where we were missing. So do you think the item is in here? It could be because Michael is very... Um... Tricky. All right, well, go ahead. Take, yeah. take your turn, please. Mm -hmm. That looks good to me. Okay, yeah. fine. I'll Give me the numbers. 149, 150, 161, 162, 163, 177, 176, and 175. She gets almost all of it. 150? Oh! 175. <gasps> wow! <laughs> He's coming that after me. Tasty flashlight. <laughs> but now you end your turn. Yep. Wow. You didn't sprint, right? Nope. So you regain okay. regain a stamina, and next player's turn. Okay, um, you don't want to be in line of sight. Yeah, I, I would like to uh, get out of there. <laughs> um, so I'll go one, two, three, four, and then I'm gonna sprint. Mm, okay. Four. One, two, three, four. So I'm revealed right now, which means I can do nothing but break doors and move around, basically. Mm -hmm. And and disappear. And on your turn. in order to disappear, I have to be revealed and in a dimmer, pitch black area. Mm -hmm. And I can remove my character from the main board and place it on the mini map. And then I place a token as to where I previously was before I disappeared. Yeah, so you don't have to worry about running away. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, but for his ability, well, I can dis I can move, disappear, okay, yeah. and then do my abilities. Uh -huh. So you can you can light the locations where you don't want me to go to get you as well. Because I have to go to a pit. I can't go to a place that's yeah. Um, lit, lit. If one person lights and then the other you person could light is in that, that area. If you lit that whole um, garage garage up, I couldn't go in there. Uh -huh. But you can go I through was, doors too. I was gonna tell you you should get the item, but we can't. Yeah, we can't collect items. Not this oh, round. Oh, yeah. You can go through doors, Michael? Uh, if they're open. You can close them, though. What is... What's considered an open door? So doors that are... Doors are... Yeah, yeah. There's three... There's, and you look... Show them the, the tiles, kind of. The blue right circle. So, um... Okay. That's no door. Okay, this is a closed door here. And then when Michael is trying to bust the door, it'll look like that. And if you go through that, it'll go away. 
Yeah. Or if and I break it again, it'll go away. Block it off totally. Okay, so if I put the flashlight here, he can't come through that door. Uh. Well, he'll be revealed if he goes into the. Yeah, if I go, if I go through anything that's lit, I'll be, I'll reveal myself. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. So I can never walk through flashlights. Correct. I mean, yeah, are you revealed? Which is not good Which for you. Which shows nothing, I can't yeah. Okay, well, I guess I'll just use it. Okay. And then what numbers are you revealing? 102, 91, 84. Oh, yep, yeah, nothing. 75. And 75. Nothing, nothing, yeah. nothing. Yeah, we already got, this is the item for up here. Okay. Well, I'm surprised you didn't do it behind you. To block him from going that yeah. way. <laughs> Knowing Michael is there, I kind of want to light up that whole room. So you could move a little more into the room and then light behind you. Well, yeah. I can just get to that terminal. Use the terminal and make the entire room. So light up. yeah, so that is a involved action. Yep. Which means when after you go there, that'll end your turn. You're not gonna be able to regain flashlight or regain stamina. Yeah. So just so you know. But I think that's gonna be my best course of action, so he can't keep chasing me. But you're, you can't even get there. That's too far. One, two, three. You'll have to sprint. Yeah, oh, my sprint. next turn is basically useless. Because after I disappear, all I can do is move and break doors. Even after I disappear. Oh. Mm. And it says, yeah, it says, after disappearing, you may take only the break door action and take or finish the move action. So that was a really good so turn. Actually, really revealing good is good. It's yeah. amazing. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, if that's the case, then I'm not going to have to worry about lighting up that entire room. Get so. close to the... One, two, and then I'm going to sprint... For another two, which you want closer to the item. <laughs> well, that puts me yeah. in the spot that I need for next turn, though. The one I need to collect. I really like this game. And then you mm -hmm. can regain a flashlight charge. Yeah. Yep. And then I will regain a flashlight charge. I just have my no turn. idea about how I can if I can eviscerate over and over again. Mm -hmm. All right, Michael. Your move. It seems like I could just save up stock and then find one person and eviscerate four times and five times and they're gone. Okay, we so don't have any token. Oh, we, we it removed might just the be token. A major, it might just be like a basic action, just like the rest of my stuff. These happen once every other turn. This happens once a turn. These all happen once a turn. Mm -hmm. I don't know. The rules are... That's the only one... This rule yeah, is very little, well done. Yeah, there's the a lot in it. one thing that I don't know. But there's a couple things that were unclear. It's so my turn? Yes. It is your turn. I just realized I wasn't doing the things for this bleeding thing. Oh, do we need to give you? At the end of each of your activations, gain one. Yeah, move. you take one of those. And you do it until you get two of them. I probably have two already. So I get rid of this? Yeah. No, that's. When Wait, when did you get it? Last it. turn, right? And then uh, you, this is like your first activation. Ago. This is oh. when I flip over this turn, or not this one. Sorry, Eviscerate was two turns ago. Mm. The bleeding? I'm pretty sure. Okay, the, so it's going to be face up. One right you, should have, you should have one. Yeah, just one. Yeah. The right. adversary must give your major ability token to another investigator. Flip this uh, face down after they've taken it. Here, Caleb. Evening, Brian. Hey, Brian. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so I need to get the heck out of here. <laughs> so I have a movement of eight. And then you place that where you disappear. Which can't be in the flashlight. Can I go through windows? I don't know. Hmm. Okay, well I will show you this. That's one. I'll put my guy there and I'm going to disappear. Bye. <laughs> well, 
I didn't need to do anything. <laughs> all right. But next turn. Uh oh, got all his abilities. All right, I'm done. Okay. Uh, remove all the flashlights. Check for card effects. And mm-hmm. spine chill will go away. Yes, it all flips. Flip. Oh, this is good. The storm grows in strength, but is manageable for now. This card has no effect. Nice. Okay. <laughs> well, no, no, nothing is a good, good thing. Now we choose our turn order. I can get the item. You can get the item. <laughs> You know what? I will go first to make this easy. I'm going to move myself one, two, and pick up that item. Okay. This item is the cross. You'll find it in the item deck. Cross. Give me the holy <laughs> symbol of this one? godness. Yes. Alright, what did that do? Give this card to the adversary when you use it. Next time they move within two spaces of any investigator, they must place a hearing token on the space they moved onto and then discard this card. Michael, you get a cross. (laughs) When you come in contact, get close to us, things happen. And because I want to get away from where I believe Michael is, I'm... Dang it, I shouldn't do that right now. This is going to be dangerous don't, for don't me. Don't sprint. Yeah. You're too low. It's going to be you dangerous would, you would for take me. A wound, so I will so just wait. Stay there. So you're not well, going to do anything? I will okay. regain oh, you, you the stamina. Up. Oh, yikes. <laughs> and I'm going to. Or did use, say but I am going to use the flashlight. Now, the question is. is Wait, so you don't move up until you're done? Yeah. Now, you question, are moving using a flashlight. Why? Well, if I use the flashlight and he's trying to get around us to either hit we're, Caleb. We're done with this building now. Yeah, but we don't know where he went. So I can use this flashlight to illuminate him again to keep him from messing with us. Now the question is, is, is he going to go towards possibly where Alicia is or... Possibly towards what Caleb is, is my question. And you can't illuminate either of those areas. Well, no, going forward or sideward. Going either towards Caleb from where I am or towards you. Yeah. You think he went into the building? Yeah. Because his marker went from here to here before it disappeared. Mm -hmm. So I think he's going somewhere. He could have still gone around this way. Mm -hmm. Could have, yes. That's the question. Do I think he but, decided but he to wants? Can you go through I would, windows. He's looking that up now. What? Oh, I don't. I don't. I don't know. Oh. I didn't go through a window because I wasn't sure. Okay. But doesn't he want us all in his line of sight so At that least he one can? Person. Yeah, so that he can gain. Mm-hmm. So he's wherever he's at. He's trying to get line of sight. Which if. He moves to where I think he might move. He'll get me and Alicia. So I'm gonna illuminate going this way. Okay, remember, has to go right on the base of your character. Yeah. Seventy-one, fifty-seven, fifty-six, seventy, sixty-nine, fifty-five. Seventy-one. Ha! Ooh. <laughs> I have a good feeling about that. Nice. Okay. Next. Is now, it? the question at this point is, will the cross activate? I'm not. Am I within two spaces? Oh, it's the next time you move with yeah, two spaces. Yeah, yeah, move. So. Okay. I'm going to get the... That. The item. So that was two spaces for you. Medical kit. A med kit. Nice. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> There we go. Cool. Flip one face face down on yourself or an adjacent investigator. Okay. And you'll have two two uses for it basically. 
that's what that is? Yeah. Okay. All right, two are you charges ending? Charges to the med kit. Are you ending <laughs> your turn? <laughs> um, you just have two more movement. I can keep moving, but I don't know where I should move to. Um, where do we want to go? We need there. We need evidence in this room, this room, this room, and this room. So we should go. Okay. But Michael's up there. Yeah. I'm gonna move back. <laughs> okay. That's only one space. You have one more to go. Okay. I'll so go back. So one six here, one forty nine. One forty nine. You got it. All right, and then me. I get a stamina. Yep. Flashlight. And flashlight charge. Yes. Okay, and then your bleeding takes effect. Okay, I get a wound. You may not travel through map hazards. I have a dislocated hip. Ooh. <laughs> oh, no. So you can't be my climbing hip. through the window. My hip. And then, does that go away? Yes. No. Discard it. Okay. For me, I'm going to move. So that's one, two. One, two. I'm going to sprint. One, two, that's enough. I'm going to interact with the computer. And that will end my turn. I don't get to regain anything. Did but you guys get a med kit? Yeah. Yep. I'll light up this entire room. So the office is now bright lights. So everything in O building? Yep. Oh, one. Got it. Mm. Yes. Oh, and that means the item for here is outside somewhere. Yeah, okay. you're right. One, two, okay. three, four. <laughs> one, two, three, four. And then I'll sprint. I don't know. Uh, three. Mm -hmm. One, two. Can be in the flashlight, I guess, but you're pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> and that's an open door? Yes. So I can go through that? Yes, but One, then it'll two. cost two to move through these oh. since they're Wait, not lit up. Isn't your ability something to do with. The oh, room? yeah, you can, you can treat three pitch black spaces as dim. So yeah. you don't have the same movement restrictions we have for three spaces inside a dark room. So I can move like normal? Through yep. a dark room for three spaces, yes. Two, three. Okay, I, I can, it'll cost me two to move through Place it to the window, but I'm not going to make noise. You may teleport. Okay. You may teleport from any space back to the token on an adjacent space. Are you using your ability? Mm, no, I'll move. One, two, three. Okay. And then, so if, if we, in an adjacent space. I can, can I use both abilities? Or yep. Only? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, Can leave your teleport and come back there later in the game? Yes, if I need to quickly escape. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, at that point, you should have done it before you were doing all your movement. You would have been on the other side of a wall in a protected alley. We're not well, going to no, be in that I, room much longer. I can still, I can go through this door as a normal space. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter. Okay, place your token. So if they attack me, it says each adversary will have an attack card available to them in addition to any number of ability cards. They may resolve each of these on their activation as long as the conditions to trigger each card are met. Okay, so that's it. Sounds like once. Uh, no, the condition oh. the, the condition of uh, this oh, one this is, one. is one and flip, uh -huh. zero and flip, one and give, put my token next to you. Oh, okay. I can do it multiple times. Okay. Okay, I'm done. So you need to be revealing me a lot. Is the mm -hmm. idea. So it's Michael's turn. 
All right, I need to get the hell out of here. Okay, we'll remove noise tokens and these tokens. Okay, this shit's gone. Here, this goes away. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna move. What number? Oh, that's gonna go um, right here because I'm two. I'm moving and I'm two spaces next to Max. Oh, okay. Right? <laughs> no, it's, if you move the next away time from I me, move. The next time you they move within two spaces. So if you move away from me, you're with it. You're at three spaces, so this will not trigger, because you're at two spaces right now. Unless he moves close and then away. Yeah. All right. Fine. I'm gonna go there then. Okay. And that's so that's one from seventy one, right? Mm hmm. So seventy two is where that is. Where the noise token is. For to change his strategy. A little bit. <laughs> okay. I'm getting the heck out of here. Now, I can move through doors, and I can go through windows, but if I go through a window, I'm going to have to put one of these on it. Okay. okay. So I did not go through a window as of yet. And I disappeared. Mm -hmm. uh, ain't nothing else I could have done. Okay. I'm done. All right. Uh, now, adversary cleanup. Remove flashlights from board. Check for card effects and advance the round tracker. Okay, remove this. Great, we got a duplicate card of the last one. This card has a no effect. Alright. Okay. Well, that's good for us. Um, um, I can go first. My turn will be easy. <laughs> are you going to use a flashlight? No. No, her, her room oh, is fully Okay, I'm going to go and turn off the okay. pool. Okay, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, and pick up an evidence. Yay, thank you. This is a false window. I can place one illusion token over any window, blocks line of sight and movement, and cannot be removed. And reveal one item when drawn. Uh, oh, so when this is drawn, reveal. Yeah, that's what I was saying about oh, the other one. Okay. You're also going to get a free item from a, um, a spa. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what this means. That's the same yeah. thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, Here's a red mark. And if you pick the wrong one... Uh, I don't know. Which one should I do? That one or that one? Uh, you got to move this way, so I would put it closer to 77. Let's do 77. Uh... There's not one there. Mm. Oh, ouch. Why is that one an explosion? Art? <laughs> <laughs> it might be useful. It might be something that's used with certain uh, adversaries. Okay, that will. I'm not going to sprint. I'm not going to use my flashlight. That'll end my turn. These both go up one. I'm not sure if. I'm not sure if. Uh, I'm supposed to, am I supposed to put one for each of the red spaces? Or any of the red spaces. I think it's one each. Because that's how it's... It didn't... It wasn't super clear the way it was written. But then later in the rule book, it seems like there's one each. Because I, I had an extra one. That's why I wasn't sure. So uh, I put extra ones. Um, somewhere else. Okay. Yeah. So this is a window? That yes. is a window. And what happens... It counts as two if we go through it? No. So if you go through it and you're just moving along, like from where you are, you'll take a wound. Oh. If you stop here and then next turn you go through it, then you won't take a wound. <laughs> mm. Okay. But I can go... Where do you think the objective is over here? Somewhere closer up here, I think. Are you not going to use the, the, the sawmill card? I'm not... 
using it right now. No. What does it say? Or is it, oh, it's secret for me. I can use it later. Can I stop on a door? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to... You can technically stun me, too, as a killer. <laughs> if I'm next to a door and you close One, it... One, two, um, three, four... Or on it, it'll make me go adjacent, and I get revealed. Okay. And... That's it. Do you have... Can I close it while I'm on the door space? No. It can be adjacent. Wait, you used your ability, right? It goes away. Oh, yeah. If your major ability is used, is it gone forever? Um... I'm not. It seems like it. Otherwise, why would there be the token yeah. here? I think it is one use. Okay. For the most part, like. The oh, yeah. yeah. Unless it says otherwise. Yeah. yeah. It says remove the token at the end of your next activation. Uh, okay, I'm gonna move here. I can sprint to go inside and close the Did door. Did you recover? Yeah. Okay. I don't think I need to do that. I'm gonna use my flashlight. Okay, let's see. Are you gonna sweep first or yes. your sweep? Okay. Alright, give me the numbers. If I go there and there, probably. Yeah. You can just do that ability over and over again, sweeping with that thing? Yeah, it's her minor yeah. ability. Dang, that's so good. Okay. Okay. S twenty, S fifteen, S eleven, S six, S nineteen, S fourteen, S ten, S nineteen. Great. It's the evidence. No, not great. <laughs> great <Terrible>. for us. <laughs> <laughs> it goes on top. Okay. Stamina. And we just need to get it in every room. Wait, your second one. Huh? That was your sweep, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's it. Well, you oh, don't you get two? Two what? You two so black you you sweep. Oh, yeah. I didn't. Yeah. That's true. I thought that was my... <laughs> Um, you get these three, I guess, or four. Yeah. Covered and it has to touch a line. Without I have to go right up to your base of your. Yeah. So S six, S seven, S three, S two. Not S twelve. So S twelve as well. S two. Yeah. But that. Yay. All right, that tells me I think I know where Michael is. Or at least close to where he is. Dang. You guys are using your flashlight? Okay, you're out. Cal, you're full. You haven't mm -hmm. used yours. Max and Caleb both use one. All right, so. Oh, no. One, I two, three. Yeah. Then I'm going to use my flashlight. Okay. So 70, 81, 89, yeah, I'm looking, I'm looking. 90, 101, 110, 111. No. no. Okay, so he is either inside the room or on this side. Or, I'm or right he's in front right of next to me. <laughs> well, I'm also, I could also be in these two spaces. I could be anywhere in this vicinity. Yeah. I, I moved eight spaces. It's I know. Far. <laughs> yeah. Which is to get away from you guys. <laughs> yeah. We moved to get away from us and then sneak around behind us and eviscerate us. <laughs> yeah. Well, the only one that's not gonna get hurt is Callie. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing my own thing. I'm collecting evidence. I can't get her on her own. You guys know they're all stacked on top. But it's more risky trying to get all three yeah. of you. <laughs> all right. Who's turn? One more turn. Let's no, go. I still need oh. to. Figure out if I'm. No, you flashlight. That's it. Oh, that's that's right. it. Yeah. I thought we, we all went, didn't we? Yeah. But I did yeah, not. Yeah, it's Michael's turn. So strength. now we wait. Sprint, so we remove so. the noise tokens and the shadow token. Okay. You didn't sprint. I did not sprint, so I gained. Oh, did you? Stamina. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, so it's my turn. Yes. So Caleb didn't use a flashlight. No. Okay. 
<sighs> you guys We're driving to, me crazy. I'm trying to know why he didn't. I, I'm appreciative of that. Uh, where was I going to shine at? at? Yeah, I agree. Either straight forward <laughs> covering that side or down this way. There's a lot of places. I, I want to use it inside this room. You would have been able to do both. <laughs> All right. Let's go you ahead can and move through the dark spaces. That's great. Plus three is eight. Constantly getting eight. Alright. We gotta pick up that evidence, and there's evidence in this room and this mm -hmm. room. I am going to give um, Caleb and Max. You're going to receive a wonderful condition called. Spine chill. And I'm going to have to reveal myself. To some extent. What number? I'll just put it right there. Oh. Okay. Within three of 68. Which means he's inside the room. But then he could be moving, yeah. Um, I'm then going to eviscerate. Revealing myself, my location. Oh, oh my. Oh. And I'm going to be giving you a bleed, Caleb. Oh no. And then I'm going to increase another eviscerate on you, which will um, place one token on time each time it is used. Once there are two, remove them and gain one. That was the second time I used it, and then this will be the third. So this will increase by one. So you're going to get an extra wound right now. Get a wound. Face It'll up. Be face up. Face up. What does it say? Place an X token on the highest space of your flashlight <gasps> track, decreasing your battery if necessary. You may no longer fully recover. Can no longer fully charge up your flashlight. That is dirty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Good thing I didn't get that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I moved to finish my uh, movement off. I will use Sinister Gaze to give darkness to Max and darkness to Caleb. This is going to go away. And then at the end of my turn, if I end my activation within four spaces of one or more investigators, I can reduce their stamina by one. So both of you will go down one stamina. Okay, and if I removed two or more, I will increase my stock. And this is gonna flip. Okay. And that will end. If you oh. eviscerate me again, I'm dead. You're pretty far, though, from me. And I can't get to you. Look at all the flashlights. Yeah, but they're going to remove right now. It's true. Yep, we removed the flashlight. And Check Caleb your card and effect. I can't use flashlights. <gasps> Remember, it, it costs me extra movement to go through windows, too. Mm -hmm. and, and you make noise. And Investiga investigators decrease their footsteps by one. <gasps> Ouch. No. Oh, no. That's brutal. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, Callie, you're in the absolute clear. Wow. So. Yeah. Yeah, I can. Okay, but see, yeah. I, I can still use my teleport this round, right? Otherwise, it goes away at the end of when, this activation. When do the, does the room go dim? It goes dim after the round is over. Oh, okay. It, it doesn't go dim. It goes black. Yeah. Uh, but you can still dim it with a... Okay. Yeah. So it's, you only get the dimmer one time. It can, it can be brightened with the computer, then it can be dimmed, and that's it. And it can only be dimmed when you get all of the, all five? Uh, when we get all five evidence, we can make one building dim. That's it. That's the mm -hmm. only way you can do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, I, besides the computer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm just going to go and get that. Yeah. <laughs> and then... Either go that way or that. You guys can get this though, so I think I want to go this way. 
Well, you're what gonna... if he's in that room, though? It's going to take you two Then he's going to attack us. Yeah, if one of you could light it up for her first. I can't light it up because my flashlight oh, doesn't yeah, work. You, neither of you can. Okay, yep. never mind. Kelly's really far away. I can't use my flashlight either. <laughs> oh, no. You can run over and have Kelly save you with a flashlight. I yeah. think. Well, I'm going to use my med kit and get rid of that. <laughs> okay. But, um. Yeah, I definitely want to go here first. That's four movement. Yeah. Oh, wait. You only you have three. You have to sprint. Have three. Okay, that's okay. I was going to plan on sprinting anyways. All right, so okay, you can you're just staying there. So I'm staying there. Oh, no. <laughs> I got uh, a thing, though. When you install the fuse... Place the run token on the next round of the round tracker instead of three rounds away. All investigators gain the bleeding condition when the fuse is installed. You may not use another charging card. Mm -hmm. So you don't, it doesn't say use immediately, so you can choose when to use it. And we're going to reveal an item. Ask Michael. Maybe this this one, this or, this one, one? or I mean, you could do that one, but I don't know if I'll have time. Probably this Maybe one this, or that one. This one. You want that one? Yeah, K two. It's a uh, fifteen. K oh. Fifteen. No, fifteen is below below you it's towards the mic. K fifteen. No, 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 fifteen. The number fifteen. Oh, oh okay. Oh wow. Uh. Two spaces away. Hmm. Or one space away, I think. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Alright, and that's the end of your turn, right? Mm hmm. Did you recover? I used that. Okay, okay. I'm. Do you want me to block the window? Would that help? Yeah. I don't know. I could do that one. I mean, he's got insane movement. I think he's. You're not bleeding turn. anymore, though, right, Alicia? No. Yeah, if I if I eviscerated you, you wouldn't take damage. You would have two more. You'd turns. You'd have two more turns before it done. And you have to yeah. find a way to heal yourself, basically. Okay. Well, I move. I'm in the pitch black, so that's one, two. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Or is it not black? No, that would. So uh, that one. That's not black. So it's just one. One. Two. Uh, three. Should I try? Hmm. I'm and so far from more. you guys. I could sprint to try to get closer and illuminate more here. I was about to say, do you even have illumination on your flashlight? Oh yeah, you got battery. Yeah, yeah, battery. Yeah, I'm gonna sprint. See how far I get. Three, okay. One, two, three. And then I can illuminate at least some of this. Or through the door. That one's pretty good. Does that get us? No. Let me see. Uh, he, that one won't really matter. I w it's better off going this way. Because he would have to go all the way through this. Yeah, he moved either. eight. Well, he, he'll move eight next, at the at his turn. Currently, he's in front oh. of Caleb. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's still in front of Caleb? Yeah. Okay, so where do we want to go is where I should... Do you want to go this way? Like, get that item and go into here? Or do you want to go around this way? I think it's Maybe more beneficial to keep that area illuminated. Okay. But, I mean, that's just my opinion. Okay, there's likely not a lot here, but 87, 79, 64, 50, 63, no, 49, 41. Yeah. Okay. So, what happens if I... And then this goes down, this goes up. 
What happens but if I go to this? You'll take a wound. You only four. You only have four life. You already <laughs> lose locked one. Kelly, you don't get an endurance because you did sprint. Yeah, I moved my flashlight down. No, no, no. Oh, you sprinted. oh. Okay, yeah. Caleb, what are you going to do? Since you can move into the space without actually taking the movement penalty for the first three, you can get probably to that computer and light it up. But I'll take a wound and I'll get another wound. Yeah. So I'll have two extra wounds. He's, yeah, he doesn't want to sprint <laughs> right now. He's got to rest. Uh. I okay. could just teleport away and let you handle him. <laughs> no, there's, there's nothing over there, though. <gasps> and, he's so, and he's so close, he can just chase you down. <laughs> Caleb's whole objective this game was to run, run away. away. <laughs> run around. See, I was, well, hoping, okay. to, I was hoping to do it. Uh, Maybe just... Callie was doing it, which is essentially be the lone person. <laughs> Well, fine. One, two, three. With your ability? All right. And now that this is over, I gain one... Wound. Face up. At the end of each of your activations, lose one stamina. Lose <gasps> one stamina. Okay, but that won't cause you to get more wounds, at least. Okay. Now you're going to discard bleeding. Oh. And you didn't sprint, so you recover your stamina. All right. And you can't use your flashlight, right? Yeah, mm -mm. in darkness. Max. All right. I really only have one option, which isn't going to be the best option either. But this is what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to hop myself into that window. Okay. And if you move again, you get a wound. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm not going to move again. Okay. I'm hiding in that little corner. So either... Hiding in the corner. Well, <laughs> what this will do, though, is if he has line of sight on me, that'll, that'll either say he's in the room with me and Caleb... Or he is somewhere over here. Oh, he's definitely going to move into the room and try <laughs> to take me down. That's why he gave both of you darkness. Yeah. <laughs> you may right. not be in his line of sight, so but I am. So at the I end am. of our phase, we remove all of these. You're going to remove that, Caleb. Did I, I spine shield both of you guys last round, then? Yep. Yes. Yeah. You're still doing it to increase your flashlight by plus one. No, I can't. <laughs> Well, if you it's can. It's blocked, right? You blocked it? <laughs> I didn't block it. The wound card did. All right, is everybody done? <laughs> yep, your turn, Michael. Oh, you only moved two spaces, Alicia? I couldn't move any more than that. <laughs> we are, we have less movement now. Oh, that's dirty. Yeah, just a little bit. 98 for Kelly. I even used my sprint. So if one of us dies, the game is over. We lose. Yep. Yep. Yeah, of course he's going to go for me. <laughs> I mean, of course. I went for Alicia first, and then... I'm the closest one to dying. No, you have exactly the same amount as Alicia. Mm -hmm. She would. And she had three, but she lost one. But I thought she... Yeah, she healed one, didn't she? No, I just flipped oh. it over. So then the effect that right. happened to her. So I'm going to go ahead and eviscerate. Does <gasps> spine chill count as a wound? No. Nope. No. Conditions are not wounds. I'm gonna, well, I'm, I'm first I'm going to uh, use my stock, I believe. So, let me, let me roll here. Let me do the exact so you, action You scale. didn't use your stock yet. I'm debating how I want to do this. Okay. Hmm... Stock has to be line of sight. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay, I, 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 I'm, I'm going to do it this way then. <laughs> I'm going to stock, and I'm, gonna, I'm stocking max. That's going to give me a plus one. 
And this is going to go right underneath Max. Oh, he's on that. Wow. I'm going to evis... I'm going to increase by plus one. All right. I'm going to eviscerate Max. Which gives bleeding. Gives them bleeding. You have the bleeding? Yep. There you go. So these are separate. Yeah, they're not damage. That's not damage either. Not okay. yet. <laughs> um, I will reduce my stock by one to eviscerate again. And that will give you one wound. <laughs> these will go here. There. Got one. And face then up. I rolled this die, didn't I? Or no? It's face up, right? Yes. Okay. Three. Punctured lung. Minus. The wounds gained from wounds. sprinting are yeah. now face up. Okay. Mm. And then I'm going to go ahead and leave a noise notification on the window there. Oh. Oh, no, it goes right in the middle of it. Yeah, yeah, it's just that he's right there. Okay. And I'll... Can I, can I, oh, I can't stalk again. I couldn't even if I wanted to. Okay, I'm done. All right. All right. So darkness will go away. We remove black light. Spine chill will still stay, and bleeding stays. Advance the round tracker. I couldn't darkness them again. Yeah. Um, invest. Up. Investigators do not recover stamina when outside of a building. Ooh, rough. <laughs> okay, what? So. Got I could go <laughs> here to, to light up the room. <laughs> I'm thinking for you and I, Alicia, I could move here and flashlight so you can move quicker through there. Perfect. Okay. Let's, <laughs> do you want to do that? Yeah. We'll go, we'll go first and then you guys can go over there. One, two, three. It's all I can move. <laughs> Is it like that forever now? Yeah. Up until we get a card that changes mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to... Illuminate this. Da, da, da. Where? Wait, where were you? Here? Here. Here, right? Yeah. You were, okay. She was on S19. Okay, yeah. Okay. And then I can give you... Can I get the... Oh, I could do it like that, right? That's better. Um, it doesn't need to be on 19. It just needs to be on 14. Where are you? Ten and five. She's at the doorway. Yeah. On the door? Okay. Uh-huh. So it's 10, 11, 12, 14, 15. Is this a wall here or no? Yeah. No. It's not, doesn't have the white outline. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um... 10, 11, 12, 14, 15? Uh-huh. Okay, nothing. Yeah, okay. Uh, in my turn, do I use the flashlight? I don't ring, oh, I'm, am if I inside the building if I'm on the door, in the doorway? Uh, no. Okay. Wait, yeah. is, there a, is there a letter there? Yes, you are. Okay. It's a letter. Then I'm good. Okay. I can move Oh, wait. Three. Do I want to use, never mind, I'm done. One, two, three. And then, if I sprint, I can possibly get to the item. Well, you still have one more <laughs> space you can move. Are you going to um, play the greedy move? Three, but... You only move two. You're going to get out of the light? <laughs> well, otherwise, I would have to go here and then sprint out that way, I guess. That would be shorter though, right? So You don't have to go out of the room completely yet. You can just get as close as you can. That's why I thought you'd go 14, 10, 5. 
no, but I can't get to 14. That's oh, not in the line. I thought it was on the line. No. Okay. I could go here, here, here. I can't go through the light either without revealing myself. You know that I'm nowhere south of you. Yeah, we know you're still in the vicinity from this direction. Where do we want to go next here? That's the last. These are the last two rooms with evidence. Mm. Should I go this way or that way? You can just stay there and we'll do it next turn. Okay, I guess. We don't want to give Michael information. Don't use that flashlight. Okay. One, two, using the computer. Okay, so you're going to end your turn, basically. Mm -hmm. Light up the whole room here. And for K. K8. Oh. Okay, just shine the flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well. And Caleb, you're done. Are you? You're not bleeding anymore, or anything? Okay. Um, There's just stamina. And you can regain. Yeah. yeah. But it goes down. Why? It, it's gonna go up to three because it says at the end of each of your activations lose one stamina. Oh. So I was up at four. Now it's back to three. Okay. Oh, that's so dirty. But it says losing stamina in this way does not incur a wound. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, since now that that's illuminated, I might as well take advantage of that and collect the clue. Mm. <laughs> oh. And we can have one item. Uh, there mm -hmm. is. Maybe they're all on the left-hand side of the board. So you can't harm us because the room is illuminated? Uh, I can, the, the, the room, I cannot go in there this round. Perfect. He can't hurt us. <laughs> Till the next round. <laughs> Hopefully you'll have gotten out of there by then. And you can still move one more, right? Or no? No, that was it. Okay. That's mm. it, right? You guys aren't using any of the any of these I cards? They all, are they all not good? Like, these should I don't be know. useful. It's no, hard to know when to use it. It's everyone bleeding condition. And it's only... <laughs> Yeah, yeah ours is sad. Sure speak over there so people can actually hear you. When, this one is when you install the... <laughs> <laughs> to the mic, please, so my editing isn't going to be hours tomorrow. <laughs> when you install the fuse, place the run token on the next round of the round tracker instead of three rounds away. I don't know what that means. If you... It's for an objective that you'll see later. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Um, we're going to remove these tokens here. Well, I still don't know if I want to actually use the light bulb on my flashlight or not. The, no, you're, the, the room, room is room already room illuminated. illuminated. Yeah, but I can illuminate outside the room. Don't you have darkness? No, uh, not anymore. Oh, okay. The question is, is, do I want to try to illuminate this section? No. Yeah, too far. Yeah, there's no reason to. To try to catch him if he's in that spot. That's the only thing. Well, we know where he's going. He's going to go over to the last mm -hmm. room. Yeah, which would be this direction. But if he can move eight spaces and he was here... So. Right, is it my turn? Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. It's my turn. Okay. I'm going to move. Charge your stuff. Four. <laughs> you went the other way. No, no I didn't. Oh. So you get to move nine spaces. Wow. Uh huh. And I am going to. Hmm. Callie, what if you're in his line of sight? She will be now. <laughs> Callie, yeah. you're in my line of sight. Can you please have a little spine <laughs> oh, chill? No. Spine chill is active. I knew it. Hmm. Oh. Uh. <laughs> um. Wait. One, 
two, three. So he has to be there. Unless he's on 65 or, and he can see you. I can't. I don't think I can this see way. No, 65 doesn't go to 66. Oh, yeah. They have to go all the way around. Um, I am within three spaces of this marker. Mm -hmm. That's all I can say. However, I am going to Disturbing Presence. Okay, end your activation. Does that mean activation is that end of game, end of turn? That's the end of your turn, yeah. Okay. That's always the end of so your turn. So I'm going to pay one for a Sinister Gaze, Choking Fear and Darkness. Uh, choking Fear for Max. Darkness for Callie. And then my Disturbing Presence will activate for Alicia and Callie, going down one stamina. And I'll gain a stop for that. And do I have to reveal anything? No. I did stock, so you have that information, though. Okay, that's it for me. I'm done. Okay. Okay. My light. Um, this is going to go... The lights out are now out here. <clears throat> Investigators do not recover battery when outside of a building. Oh my god. <laughs> Why? <laughs> uh, this can character, only make three. You definitely want to be like kind of spread out a little bit at the beginning and then kind of converge together at the end, I think. Okay. You want to always be stunning me, though, if you can. Illuminating. Yeah. yeah revealing It's a stun. You. Yeah. It's an entire turn I lose. Uh -huh. It's really good. You get to know where I go and that I can't do anything to you. Okay. We need to get out of here. Yeah, but it's taking forever <laughs> to move. It's dark in there. <laughs> yeah. We can only move one space in darkness right now. Uh. Could I shine the flashlight in there so you that Alicia can get out? Oh, because you can move through that dark. Yeah. Um, no, because I should be able to get out with one, two, three. Because it's the door. That will be your entire movement. Yeah. And you can't close it behind you then. Mm, um, can you sprint? I could also sprint. After yeah, that. yeah. I feel like... Yeah, because we need to get here. Yeah. And I can block that, too. Okay. Alicia, make your mad dash for the room. Uh, I gotta move first for yeah. her so she can get... So I can close it. Yeah, okay. Go one, two, three. Uh, I guess I should sprint. I can't recover. Oh, I can't recover this. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I can sprint. Nice. One, two, three, and I'll leave this within three spaces. Um, I'll leave a little can here at 48. And you can still move one more, right? Yeah, but it's yeah. dark. Okay. So I'll stay there. You want to use your flashlight uh, since you can't recover it anyways? Oh, yeah. Or are you yeah. in the door? No, I can't. Like I have it. darkness. Oh. I'm not in the room yet. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, it is. Oh, I'm L6. Room. I am in the room. Oh, so you okay. can recover it. Okay, nice. Good. Okay, that's it. I'm done. Wait, unless I want to use... Should I just go ahead and block that one? That's her easy entry point into the. Oh, into the early, room. are you gonna use the window? No, you can block it. Okay, I'm gonna block the window here. Forever? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Blocks line of sight and movement and cannot be removed. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to use my regular movement to go there, and then three. 
hair and then shine the light. Wait, no. Shine and the light shine there. for here, kind of. Sure. Okay. I can do my sweep, so I can go that way and that way, or mm -hmm. I can go that way and that way. Think about where I'm definitely behind not stopping you. you. So, do you want me to go here first and then there, or there first and then leave it there? Well, he leave asked it. you, you want to leave yeah, it was in three spaces, yeah. So he's not going to be in this direction. So three spaces from here, one, two, three. So he'll be... Yeah, but he moved after that. He no, I didn't. Oh, no. he didn't. No, I was in my turn. Okay. So do I want to just go like that and then like that? Me. Yeah. Or the opposite way, so you protect this for them. I don't know. Mm, like that first, and then yeah, okay. yeah. Seventy-nine, eighty, eighty-eight, S four. Mm. Oh. I was gonna eviscerate you last turn, but I decided I'd I'd save up so I could hit you really hard. <laughs> but uh, I didn't okay. think you'd think I was all. all okay. I went all okay. the way around. You don't I have knew to, it. You don't have to sweep, I guess. You could just leave it there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. What does it say? Yeah, I can. You may use sweep. So, okay. I'm going to leave it. Okay. That's it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> or you guys could choose who goes first. Well, it's dark in here, so. Yeah. Well, Caleb, that doesn't matter for Caleb. Yeah. So, I'm here. One, two, three. And then I could sprint. And then I could... I forgot to close the door. Oh, well. So, He's one, not in two, there, so. three, <laughs> sprint. Oh, this one doesn't have a door. Oh, no. <laughs> I guess I we'll just go for it. Sprints. One, two, three, and then two. <laughs> uh, one, two. And then anything else? I don't need to use. Unless you want to protect this area. You could. Yeah, you could because yeah. you can't recharge your flashlight. So you might as well. Mm. <laughs> uh, well, that two, doesn't do a whole lot, actually. Oh, because of the obstacle there. 65. Yep. No, because look. You still get something around it. Oh, yeah, uh, okay. Look. 65 there. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty much it. 52, 51, 65. Yeah. Stamina, but I go back to two. All right. Max. Max. All right. Well, one, two. Yeah. You can go one, the, two, you can the three. Door too. Oh, yeah, so. Yeah, there's a door here. But that's too much darkness there. Hmm. Well, the only thing I can really do at this point is illuminate and try to get some extra coverage because I cannot sprint. So. Dang, you guys want to light me up after the 4th of July. <laughs> oh, the kind of the light. only thing we can do at the moment. <laughs> uh -huh. That's it? So I can't All recover done. battery, but I do recover stamina. This it does reach 64. That's better. Okay. <laughs> 64. And 65. All right. My turn? Yes. It's your turn. So we removed. That's the good. Oh, his oh, token. We'll remove, <laughs> <it>. <laughs> no, we'll remove it in a second. <laughs> Three, so. Eight. Oh, I also get a bleeding. A wound? Yeah. 
face up. What does it say? Set your power to zero, then flip this face down. Mm -hmm. I have no more flashlight. Well, good thing you used it. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Is that right? You're yeah. still two away from Alicia. What? This is the final one where she can see me, right? Yes. Oh, so technically I have to, I have to go invisible here then, right? Yeah. And then this goes away. Hmm. All right. Is that it? Yeah. Secret turn. All right. Flashlights back. This this one should be. Flashlights. Brown tracker. New card. <laughs> the adversary may immediately flip two door tokens, door tokens to the. What damage is damage side. side or place two damage tokens on empty door spaces or one of each. So, since we don't have anything open, you can put two damaged closed empty doors ones, right? on empty one. Oh, wait. The they're not empty. They're just open right now, right? Yeah, they're just open. Okay. Mm, yeah, may immediately flip two door tokens to... That the closed door yeah. to the broken side. Or place two broken, broken tokens, tokens on empty door spaces. So nothing, right? I guess. No. Okay, pass. Keep going. Alright, investigator actions. Alright, who's going first this round? Um Callie's super go, close. Yeah. So what I'll do Is everybody's bleeding gone? No, I saw one round of bleeding left. Okay. I don't have any. One, two, and then I gotta sprint. Oh, I'm gonna take a wound if I sprint. Yeah, yeah but just wait around. No big deal. Yeah. Michael, of course he would say <laughs> if that. If you light up the room, then you know if he's yeah. in there, it's gonna he, he'll find you'll find him. So okay, and this, oh, it's face down too. Okay, that's not as bad. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, and then I activate the room and light it up. Come on, guys. L. L nine. L one. Mm. Tasty. You will not make it to the Necronomicon. You'll die in the graveyard before you get it. Oh, and I'll place... Oh, no, I can't anymore. Okay. You could, you could place on your way there if you want to. Oh, would place it there. Yep. All right. Okay, next person. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need to roll an eight. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't... It's only four. So even if she rolled a four, that'd only be seven. So it would I can be one use off. my energy drink too. So I'm gonna use my energy drink. Oh, oh one, two, go. three, four, five, six, and now I oh, sprint. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Great. Yes. Too, which gives you what you need. Got it. <laughs> and then the, I think that gets discarded. Yeah. What is it? Window key. Place one open window token over any window. This window is no longer considered a map hazard for the investigators or the adversary. Oh. Just an open okay. space. Yeah. Um, additionally, you get to uh, ask for an item. This one. Well, that's already That's already right. 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 right there. Yeah. In the oh. room. Um, I think this is the only one we don't know. Oh, okay, that one. Uh, one thirty-four. One twenty-three. Hmm. Oh, it lived right? right in front of me at one point. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I don't need to do anything else unless you want me to 
like make a path. Honestly, that wouldn't be a bad idea. So what else do we have to do? We have to grab all the. Oh, he's, so he's flipped over the last turn. Now we have all. Does it happen at the end of the round? We have all yeah, five. Yeah, well, no, it happens instantly. I mean, okay. So, so now we have all five evidence. You're going to take these three objectives. Yep. And you're going to choose one of them. Okay. They're, these are randomized. There's actually a few different types. But okay. You have a weapon objective. Kill the adversary. You have um, escape or drive the car into the wall and everyone escapes to the wall. Yeah. So we have the garage, the gate, or the secret lair where we have to attack the adversary so which one do we want to do well the gate allows us to just get out of dodge if we can get to it killing the adversary is going to be a little bit difficult due to which the fact one is that the one that has wounds. to do with the fuse it's, that'd be it's the car gate. the gate so that the would gate? be place the token on space 25 you must escape from space 306 yep. Yes. <laughs> Don't tell him that information. <laughs> oh, okay, so that's why I, I didn't read them aloud. Uh, do that. No, no, they're random. No, oh. he doesn't know what exactly we're doing. Uh, I can tell you what they do. If you pick one, I'll tell you how it functions. Yeah. Okay, please. No. I think that's too far. Uh, you have to start over there and go all the way over. <laughs> Yeah. And he would exactly. still be able to attack us as we made our way over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd have to go wisely. from this one to that one. So very, very far. Uh, yeah, that's really far. Alright, we'll pick one. It's a lot of text. <laughs> One of the closer numbers. Do you want to try to do this one? Yeah. Good choice. Mm -hmm. Well, you gotta pick seems one of them. I don't, that seems very... I mean, I feel like he, it could be possible. Yeah, that might be okay. the easiest. We're going to do the, um, kill the adversary. Really? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> to stop the adversary, have the adversary select up to two adversary spaces within 10 spaces of any investigators and randomly place the weapon and the tool tokens face down on the main board adjacent to the light selected spaces. So the weapon mm -hmm. and the tool tokens. And I have to place them down 10 spaces within any players. Adjacent to any adversary spaces within 10 spaces of any investigator. We get that one, this one, that one, that one. Maybe that one. The weapon there. Hmm. Actually, maybe that one there. It has to be adjacent to the adversary. Oh, space. adjacent to. Hmm. Hmm. I don't like these options. <laughs> That's why I thought this sounded like. Wait, wait. One, best. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. I could place that there. And then this one will go. All the way over there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Up, 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 farther. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Um, they do not need to be placed adjacent to the same adversary space, and the adversary spaces don't need to be within ten spaces of the same investigator. See the adversary section for more details on what the weapons and tools do. Each adversary has their own unique weapon and tool. Make sure you know how they work before you attempt to defeat the adversary. These are my... My weapon mm -hmm. and my tool. So you can, I think you can look at them. Yeah. Okay, so the frayed ropes is the tool. 
if we can grab it and use it, it he must place a three shadow token. So we we kind of use it to. An item too. Oh yeah, what do we have not captured yet? One selected. Yeah, so that's when we just selected the two eighty. Then I guess. Uh, are we gonna go down there though? That's the only one. That right? seems like wasted time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then for the dagger, choose an adjacent space. If the butcher is on the space, you kill him and win the game. Okay, that's it. We just gotta pick up the knife and. If he's on the dagger, right? No, we grab the dagger, then we use it. Hmm. Can anybody use it? Um. Let's see. I can look at the adversary if you'd like. Here it is. Stop the adversary. Pick them up. That's all it says. <laughs> yeah. Can I, if the investigators so, choose to stop him, they must kill him to break the cyclone and the curse. They will mm -hmm. find the butcher's ritual dagger, locate, locate him, and kill him with, with, with it before he claims another victim and disappears. The frayed ropes will use to bind the butcher to the tree. Also holds supernatural powers throughout, throughout through the dark path. So the dagger says, choose an adjacent space. If the butcher is on the space, you will kill him and win the game. Okay, so just once we get it, then we can use, any of us could use it, sounds like. It doesn't say either way. It seems like an item, though. Yeah, it's an item. We have to go pick it up first. And anybody can use it? It sounds like it. Okay. I feel like that because if we're all working together, why wouldn't you be able to use it? Because mm -hmm. I didn't know that there was four daggers. <laughs> <laughs> no, the dagger just matches. So would you each get to each would you each get to each use the dagger and choose an adjacent space? Mm -hmm. Doesn't doesn't say here. Take and interact to pick them up. Oh, we can trade items too. Yeah. So that might be it. I think you only get one dagger. Okay. Do we want to get the tool then is the question. We don't have to to win, but it's going to be make East finding him a little easier. Do we have to I still can, draw this? I can get it. I'm like the closest. Mm -hmm. Well, as soon as it goes, the light's going to be going out, so. This is the That's next an open space. space. Open. Yeah. Do we still have to draw this? Yes. Is that the last one? Almost. Oh, we only have a couple turns. This card has no effect. Nice. <laughs> really? Finally. <laughs> <laughs> if that runs out, is the game over? Yeah. Mm. So we have one more. Yeah, we've been we've been slow. <laughs> All right. It sounds like Alicia. You know what you want to do? Well, I don't know if we have time to get over there. there. We're gonna lose if we can't. Yeah. Someone who has the best chance of getting there and picking it up. Uh, Max. Honest. Max. On, yeah, I have the best. Oh, you have full stamina too. Okay. Well, oh, this would have gone away because last turn. Uh, no, but what I'm thinking is. Oh. Yeah, if I go over there, then I'll bleed, and that would be a third one. Yeah. So I'll go first. I'll move one, two, three. And sprint. And I will sprint for three. One, two, three. Oh. And I, you used your stamina. I used my stamina. I can't use my flashlight because I'm empty, but I will have one charge left. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Caleb, what I would suggest is move to me and try to illuminate your the way you came with the flashlight to keep him from sneaking up on us. Because if he catches either one of us when we have the dagger, it might not. You both be have good. two wounds. And what does yeah. the rope do if you get it? Uh, you have it. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. It, it helps us find you, basically. Okay. So, one, two, three. Ooh. Oh, no. Illuminate. Towards, uh, towards this oh. way, or downwards. One of the two. You think wherever you think he is. Well, whichever way he's probably going, going to come to... from. Okay. Is the problem. Mm, Caleb and Max both have the most damage. So that's essentially covering our flank. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, 68, nope, 67, nope, nope. yeah. Next. I mean, I don't know. Should I just try to make my way over there? Yeah, because you couldn't, if you can get it, still, I don't know. You can try at least. Yeah, but he, it but seems he like he's close too. over there, yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, That's a trap waiting to just happen. Mm. You guys could just move. If he, you, okay. what is it, eviscerate? I'm he could gonna, do it to you twice, technically, couldn't he? I can't sprint. I'm going to move. Oh, wait, this is. That's out now. Out yeah. now, yeah. One, two, three. That's all I can do. <laughs> Uh, you oh can use your no! I use my flashlight. That's good. Um, do I want? I want to put one of these down. Oh, that's my last one. Well, you have well, a couple. One out. Other yeah, I won so. Is is are you, are you all taking oh. an extra turn right now? After she just got the, like, got this done. Isn't that my turn? Huh? I feel like I never got to move. <laughs> you guys. Oh. Yeah. Let me Sorry, go. we got yeah. yeah. You guys all are taking ex, you're taking extra turns Sorry, right now. No. We thought it was our turn because it, it felt like a new round. That's all. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'm done. I think. So I couldn't have done anything really. Then Kay, then the round happened. Then Caleb. Oh, then Max, Max went. And then Caleb. Then Caleb. And now. Then you. Okay. Like, how is this? <laughs> <laughs> Corey, the game on the box says 90 minutes. Yeah. So shouldn't, our we, first game, shouldn't so. we remove your token then? It plays, I'm guessing this plays up to two and a half hours if you're playing with five players. Okay, 33, 34, 35, 36. Yeah, we're almost at the two and a half hour mark, so we've probably <laughs> been playing for two hours. Okay. Um, but this is our first game. We're just uh, testing it out. game stamina. Great. Do I need to sprint? Well, probably wouldn't it hurt. could. Okay. But it could though. Three. Nice. No, I'll use my flashlight. I know they wanted to rush past me. <laughs> Sorry. Mm, I sweep. Okay. Nothing. Hmm. Nothing. Okay, you leave it there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying. Yeah. You're not going to get that. You're not going to get any of this because it's being blocked, but their line's being blocked by the wall. You'd rather. Yeah, you you'd rather do, do it, it right along the wall. Like, okay. you'd rather probably just like this. <laughs> okay. Because you're going to get all of this then. Okay. Uh, then you all went, now it's my turn again. Yes. Okay. Why? Why? <laughs> no. I can move eight. All right. One. The can rattles right next to Callie. Yep. This one? <gasps> Two. Uh -oh. I'm going to stare at you, Callie. So okay. flip over. Spine chill. I'm going to place this out. I could be anywhere. <laughs> um, and then, a wound. Yep. Give him a wound. He took his last one for bleeding. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eviscerate you, Callie. You're going to start bleeding. Okay. So, I don't have bleeding. What? Bleeding. Ah. Now you do. Okay. Alright. Hmm. I don't think I can kill you. Oh, when I hit you, this reverts to this. Okay. All right. 
I'm done. So flashlights get removed now? Yes. Oh. Investigators may utilize only the three center lines of their flashlights to make spaces bright, and this is infinite. Ooh. I can't use my flashlight anymore anyways. I'm at zero. Okay. So now instead of all the side area, we just have the middle long area. So... And Max should get the dagger. Yeah. Okay, good. up. So I will pick up the dagger and then move back to. Is that an item card? Yes. yes. Can no, I have... it's, it's over here. Can okay. I have the dagger piece? Okay, no, he's over here. <laughs> Gotta get over there. Can you. It's sprint... possible. Sprint to Caleb. <laughs> You no, guys can trade. You I'm, can't sprint. Mm -hmm. you, have, you, have, you have a bunch of stamina. If I sprint, I'm going to gain a wound. If I gain a wound, oh. I will die. I can't sprint. Okay. Do you have a way to place that face down? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we lose. I need to bring him to you. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Caleb runs, picks it up, sprints back. Yeah. No, he has. Do. He doesn't have enough stamina. You have no stamina for sprinting. Yeah, well, you he do. Takes wounds. Yeah, he has to. It was the last round. Yeah. Do it. What if I get that? Will that help? You move one. It will reveal where. You, help reveal. So where I you can is. go to max. One, two, three. No, one, two. No, 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 just yeah, just two. Okay. You get the trade. Trade. You get the item. <laughs> you keep moving. Three. One more. Yeah, and now you sprint. Now you sprint. You take the wound. Face, face down. Face down. Three. And then get uh, as close to Cali as you can. One, two, one, two. Honestly, go to 67. It's... Gives you a small amount of cover. Mm -hmm. Isn't that the same, though? Yeah. So it doesn't really matter. One, two, three. Yep. There you go. Alicia, you should you should actually light the area up. I can't. It, it'll. You she has no battery. Oh yeah. no. <laughs> I need to move up. Wow. <laughs> I need to move closer to Caleb, and then use my flashlight. We're toast. <laughs> One, two, three. Yeah. Now the question is, is he going to be below you or towards Caleb? Well, he's right there. I was. You were. I moved. So if Callie sprints, then she gets a wound as well. Yeah. It's worth it. But it's the last round anyway. I'm going to get anyway. a wound right now. Oh, oh. so you'll oh, have three well, wounds two. too. So I have three wounds. Max has three wounds. I guess I might as well have three wounds. <laughs> no. Good shot. Okay, take a wound. Yeah. Face down wound. Yeah. Shine my flashlight. Should I go behind me? What do you mm. think? Yeah, right. probably. It's only going to affect this middle area here. Yeah, but he still has to go through there somehow. Okay. 43, 36, 26. Nope. Yeah. And. And. Oh. And nine. I forgot that. Oh. And nine. All right, Alicia, you're up. Yeah, you could put a can. Doesn't even matter. Already, this is the last round. I already did the over. flashlight. Yeah. Um. This is the only thing I could do. Should I get it? Can you sprint to get it? Yeah. Might as well. So here, oh, okay. eliminate. <laughs> no, well, I'll have three uh, wounds. My flashlight. Okay. But I can take a wound if I sprint. Well, we all have three wounds. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. Just do it. Yeah. Wait, can't you also get rid of a wound? 
No. It just moves the yeah. face down. Mm. It's not a great med kit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then I'll take a wound and I'll sprint. Two. Two. One. I'll take that. And then you can move one more. I can get the item too. <laughs> what is it? A walkie talkie. Okay. You can radio for help. You can use that too. Okay, I use it. Use it so. Now it's got two left. Michael has to place a three, yeah. Oh. The radio? Mm hmm. Oh. Yep. Wait. Two way I... radio. Yep, that's it. Okay. I had to take a wound too. You may use the minor ability of an investigator that is not in play. If the ability uses tokens, you may use one of them but cannot keep the rest. Okay. Mine isn't helpful. <laughs> Not in play. That's it, Michael's turn. Mm -hmm. Gonna kill us. I I don't think to? I need to. And then yeah. 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 I just I think I'll just reveal myself at being at fifty. Mm. And I walk right in front of you. And then well, I end my turn and laugh yeah. as you all get sucked up into the void. No. <laughs> you were close. It you were right really next close. to me. If, yeah. you could, if you could have chained those, you would have got it. Mm -hmm. All right. So tell us what you think about the game, The Stifling Dark. Callie first. It's very intense. Uh, I love these kinds of games. The hidden movement. I especially like being on the team part of it. To kind of like, oh, what are we going to do? Where are we going to go? Work together. I feel like now that we're more familiar with the abilities, too, we could utilize our individual. Like, you didn't use yours, right? Yeah, Not I realized that I actually could have sprinted the very end. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you should have used your, Major. your bandages. Uh -huh. Your minor abilities. You yeah. start with two tokens. I realized it afterwards. Oh, okay. <laughs> And I would have been able to actually teleporting. Get yeah. I tried uh -huh. to use the teleporting. And, your, and his major ability gives everybody two stamina and a flashlight Whoa. if they're near him. Yeah, wow. Near yeah. Yeah, but Caleb was Caleb with me was. the whole time. <laughs> like for a long time. Yeah, I, I screwed that one up. <laughs> so I think we, now we'd be able to better use the ability. What was your major ability, Cal? You never used it either. You no, you may flip a total of two face up wounds face down on yourself or an adjacent investigator. Okay. So if I could have gotten to Caleb, I could have put these face down, which would have helped him. Well, but Max. I was so far from him. No, yeah, what was, what was yours, Caleb? I could teleport. I tried to use it. Mm -hmm. Is it on the board somewhere or no? No, it, was, it, it has to away. be removed at the end of your next activation. So it's only he can only he plans ahead for the next turn, basically to teleport back mm. to where he was. Yeah, initially I thought his ability would have actually saved more. Permanent. You know what? Yeah, we, me too. You know what? I should have done. Well, actually, that wouldn't help because it still goes away. I'm like, it would have been a unique twist if I could have placed it at three oh six, which is where we were at at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, the other end ability too. It felt so hard. We had to go up here oh, right. to this gate. And then exit down at that 306. And just hope that yeah, Michael like, didn't no down one of us. Well, you, with certain ones will come additional turns too, though. I think you would have uh, gotten three more rounds with that one. Oh, okay. Yeah, fixing the truck, you would have had to gotten the three different things, get to the truck, the truck and escape. And one or all of you could have escaped. Mm -hmm. uh, the adversary one is kind of challenging. You have to find me and then exactly hit me with it. Well, I felt like we were, we were pretty good at gauging where you kind of were. And then place the escape token three rounds ahead of the current round on the mm -hmm. round tracker. So for the power of the gate, you'll get three rounds to do it. Okay. Even if we ran out of cards? Uh, yeah. That's what it said. Yeah, because this has an infinite sign on it. I mean, this over here shows a skull, which means we lose. But in the scenario, it said that when the deck runs out, we lose. Mm -hmm. So, I, you know, I don't know. There's little things in the game that are going to be probably fixed and changed. Yeah. Um, and make it probably a little cleaner, knowing how many times like an eviscerate would be nice. Is it once a turn? I mean, I did it kind of to be more fair, where once in a while when it was more reasonable, I did it more than once. And otherwise, I would just do it once. 
Um, but to me, it seems like I can do it infinite times. And maybe that's just because you guys need to do a lot of flashlights. And stuff. Okay. In the middle of the game, you you ruined we, me. Yeah, he was. <laughs> you ruined me. You got well, me two times in a row. Maybe if, if your ability is infinite, maybe they should put an infinite sign on your card that says well, that you can continue to do it. Well, I mean, it does show it. that there is requirements. So it does, based on every all evidence, that this card can be used more than once. Um, another thing, too, is you... You went up here and did this, and then it took you forever to go to this one and do that one. I don't. You like went around and did other no, stuff. No, I, I had to rescue Alicia. Yeah. She was trapped in the dark. <laughs> I, I think again, like Alicia said, what really hurt us is when our movement went down to three, three from yeah. four. That really mm -hmm. did us. Because if, you, if you're in the dark, you can only go one. Ability, I think we actually would have won. Yeah. Because he could have not had all of those wounds. Yeah, well, I would and have been able to save more. myself from death on essentially one of them. No, and, a and lot get of killed with sprint. No, yeah. he, he had bleeding twice. I bled him. Tw I bled him once, and I I made him bleeding, yeah, and then I hurt him once. Because then I would only have two I wounds instead of three. Would take a wound. It only would have worked on the last turn. That was the only time I would have been in that spot. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, what do you think, Alicia? You like it? Yeah, it was really fun. Um, it's a lot like Dead by Daylight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people run around with their flashlights, hopping yeah. through windows and doors and stuff. I would like yeah. to see more doors being used and windows and whatnot, but uh, I mean, there it's is a like, little bit of looping. <laughs> you have to kind of figure to, out, yeah, when to do those things. Yeah, yeah because the then we'll get wounded because... going through the window. Well, like when I went through the window and Mike and I was either Mike on top was right of on top of me or whatnot. <laughs> I had used the window and I didn't want to give myself the wound by running through after that. So, I mean, it just so happened that I jumped on top of him. <laughs> I believe that this game's coming out sometime in the next week. I'll have to double check that. I'll put a link in the description. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, this is really cool. I mean, I, I don't want to put my foot in my mouth because I haven't played the uh, Dead by Daylight board game that came out by Love 99. Don't get me wrong, I love those guys. But this one just seems like a better reenactment of like how it feels to play that feels game like it, yeah. just based on looking at the kickstarter so i have to play that game to see if i dig it or not because behavior worked with them so i'd like to see what that entails but how this board works and all the abilities and all this mm -hmm. crazy stuff is really cool i want to see miniatures obviously with this um and the fact that you get your own little mini hidden board is really nice. Yeah, yeah. you could show the mini board now. If you yeah, want. I mean, there's not a whole lot on here anymore. Just, yeah. I, I, oh, I, nice. I had, I had like two items, <laughs> but it's a little but it's tiny just a one. One fourth size version. And they came with this right. little, you know. But yeah, the quality of cards are really nice. I, I, I personally would like to see minis involved in this game, just even if it's just like for the characters and that's it. Yeah, these weren't bad though. The bases are pretty nice, actually. I mean, I don't think you need it for the killers as much, but for the characters. Yeah, yeah everything is nice. It's really high quality, especially since this is not the entire game. This is a little mm -hmm. prototype. Uh, rules will change and all that kind of stuff. Just expect it. But yeah, I enjoy this game a lot. It's really fun. Um, I want to play more of it, and I want to just learn a couple of the rules uh, just so I know them for a fact. Yeah. So yeah, good game. Stifling Dark. Take us out, Callie. That's it. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching tonight's live stream. Hope you had fun with us checking out the Stifling Dark coming soon to Kickstarter. You can check out the links, whatever links we have to Kickstarter preview page in the description down below. And while you're there, give this video a like, thumbs up, and uh, subscribe if you wanna see more board game reviews and board game content and all of that. And click that bell and notification. You can also check out unfilteredgames.com where we have blog reviews and giveaways and uh, Instagram, unfilteredgames where lots of fun posts and mini reviews go, as well as check us out every Sunday evening on here on Facebook and the next day or two on YouTube, 6.30 p.m. PST, Sunday evenings, uh, where we play lots of games. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, we look forward to seeing, seeing you guys, guys next time. time.